sensational, especially his follow-up groundwork. He was, Joey, 18 possessions, 36 hit-outs for Brock McCauley. Umpires tonight, Bowen, Meredith and Wynn. We're underway. Round six continues. Martin, clearing possession, does it easily. Looks very comfortable at this level. Kick was poor. Merritt, the oh. one-arm brush off. And away they go, Brisbane. Rich. Going head-to-head -head against Cochin, so expect both of them to get 30 each. And somehow Pat Fuller got forward of the ball. Rich again. This is nice play from Brisbane. Penetrating left foot. Bombing ball. Goal square is unguarded. Brisbane on the board. Really dangerous, Shuri, if you let Daniel Rich go. I know Cochin can hurt him the other end, but once the ball is turned over across that half-back line, brilliant work by Daniel Merritt. Yep. Somebody has to push up onto Daniel Rich. Well, I just had a look at that, Jared. The way it came from half-back, and Rich was involved a number of times, and I totally agree. If you allow him space, he's been tagged. There's Cochin just getting to him there, but he'd already been involved once with a handball out and received back again in the corridor. Great finish by Daniel Rich. Needs a bit of that confidence. He's been tagged a lot over the last year and a half. Well, this is his big opportunity because it looks as if it's going to be a soft tag. He's either going to go head-to-head uh, -head against Martin or head-to-head -head against Cochin. Looks like they've just switched them. Cochin's now on the black, and maybe that was evident uh, at the opening bounce. But uh, we'll see how they pan out. Head-to-head, -head, you'd be uh, liking the looks of the lines. Another free kick going Rich, well, a free kick going Richmond's way, but Daniel Rich's first goal for 2011 came inside the first 40 seconds of the opening quarter. And Cochin to Greek. Get onto the favoured left foot boot. They allow him to run through the corridor. Dangerous ball. Miller arrives late, made the contest. Tut gets involved, flicks it off to Nahas. Here's the chance for the quick reply from the outside of the boot. He's worked it back beautifully. Well, clearly it was brilliant stuff from Nahas, but I love the way Brad Miller hit the pack, Shuri. Yep. He just created a contest, and I think that's something the Tigers have been missing in their forward line. And Brad Miller was brought back into the side last week. Has made a genuine contribution there. Now, he doesn't mark it. was good gutsy defence there. What Great handball by Farley to set up what was a terrific outside of the boot shot at goal. First goal for Robin Nahas, it took him six games and that was an excellent finish. And they've opened up with a fairly attacking style, these two teams. Yeah, I was just going to say, Scott, we might have a bit of a shootout here tonight. All guns are blazing. At the MCG Corral. Important bounce. McCauley went early. Cotchin, another possession. Won't travel the distance. Intelligent play by Tuck. Tapped it to Grieg. Drilling ball. Too much on it for White. Nahas again. Grieg. They go forward again. It's a wide ball. Well, he jumped and jumped early, your man McCauley Shorey, and uh, he got the hit out in the ruck for the Lions. There's one of the most pivotal matchups. Merritt versus Rewald. Substitutes tonight, Mason and Pollock. Dangerous ball. It's alive. Cotchin another kick. That was around the corner. It was across the face of goal for the first behind and up. Well, it looks like Reigns is trying to go to Cotchin now, and Rich was going to... Martin, so gee, there's a lot of changes in midfield here. Well, Reigns just really needs to be more defensive. That was uh, a gettable shot at goal for Cochin. Hanley from McGrath. Oh, unforgivable almost. It's a drop mark by Maguire. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's back in the lineup with Clay Beams. Well, that's just thinking about what you could see. He was looking the handball or going to kick before he had it in his hands. Two young ruckmen, Lockhorns. Neither gets the definitive tap down. Greek's been busy, as has this man. Cotchin knows no other way. Hawley releasing handball. Foley ends up with Martin. Here's a piercing kick. Almost got to Miller. Great lunging spoil. It's still alive. Nahas back to Foley. Martin, he knows where the big sticks are. Lines up, leans back and pops it through. Well, just one player really has to tighten up. Ashley McGrath on Robin Nahas. Nahas has had, he's kicked his goal, but he's just set this up miles off him, not enough pressure. And then they'll have Martin who kicked the ball inside 50 to that lead to still be in an area without any pressure again. 
Richie, uh, if this midfield keeps going this way, Jared, I think Richmond might have the better uh, players in form at the moment. Well, Martin in particular. There's Foley, oh, yeah. who's got away from Handley now a couple of times, but the finish is superb. Picking up where he left off last week, 33 possessions, four goals against the Kangaroos to help them over the line, and he's got an early goal. You happy with the way the game's being played out for both teams at the moment, Shorey? Well, it's not defensive, so someone's going to score quick. It just depends how your forwards play for the way, and I said that midfield dominance is an issue. Well, who's at favour this style of game? I think Richmond. I would think Richmond with Jack Rewald up there. Black to Lewenberger in the role of a forward. Swooped on by Beams. Black involved again. Just looped the handle over the top. Thinking about coming through was Polkinghorne. Hands in the back. No free kick. Edwards through traffic. Thought about a bounce. Got out of trouble. But then put Vickery. No, Angus Graham into trouble. Martin. Such a cool head for a young man. Tried to chip it towards Edwards. And now O'Brien. Under pressure. Yeah, nice tackling from the Tigers. They've got the start that the coach would have been looking for. This uh, bloke has got out of Good chase from behind by Redden. Richmond with numbers. Nahas shut down by McGrath and gets the one two from Mitch Clark. Can load up from inside the square. One out inside and the square, course. and that's a free kick every day of the week. Well, we were talking about keys before the game and Jared spoke about a free kicks inside their defensive 50 Richmond. Normally from their key players tall who are small bodies. On that occasion I'm trying to pick up the culprit Jared. Grimes I think. Was it Grimes? And he just had the, the back position on Banfield. Just had to keep your hands up in the air and stand still but he pushed forward with his body. Crowd not happy with it. Played every game last year to finish 10th in the best and fairest top Banfield. Mr. Sitter. Big let off. Well, it's inexplicable. The only issue is, sure, there's not a player that's played AFL footy that hasn't done it. <laughs> sure, you ever done it? No. <laughs> the look says he doesn't. <laughs> or he hasn't, Jerry. Oh, I'm not Callum. Jared, 15. When was the last time you, in your career, how many 15 metre goals did you miss? Well, not many, but I reckon we've all done <laughs> one. That's probably too far out. Not many, but we've all done one or two, Shorey, and I think, uh, yeah. Banfield's got to go. Oh, no. He was the only one that did. You get selective memories when you retire. <laughs> you forget all the ones you do miss, but let's see if he can learn from his mistakes. Well, the other thing is, Jared, and, and like we're saying, this is a free-for-all at the moment, an offensive free-for-all. What happened? The ball to hang in the air that long, that no defensive pressure at all, not even a scratch on his arm. He had that much, and then the market, you know, with no one 15 metres out, it's just, well, Damien Harvey would be pulling his hair out. He'd like to have this opportunity again. He spayed it, identical position. And he stabs at it, yeah. makes the umpire work, not convincing, but it's on the board. Well, it's not often you get a chance to rectify your mistake uh, so quickly, particularly with one so embarrassingly uh, close to goal, but he's done exactly that. Here's Patful with the footy, and he just picks out the man at the top of the square. He doesn't even put his hand up. He doesn't know it's coming for him, but all of a sudden he looks and says, hello, here's an opportunity. It's on top of my head, and it's a wobbly drop. That's his issue. He needs to somehow uh, get that ball and boot a little bit closer together to minimise the drop. First goal for the night to Todd Banfield, 23 for the season, goalless last week against St Kilda. All square again. Fast paced game. Vickery in the ruck. Just thinking here, Jared, which one would you let go? Martin or Cochin as an offensive player if there's not going to be too much pressure? Who do you tag? I think Martin on with you. On the the most dangerous. Foley run down, got boot to ball. Hard work for Conker. Foley goes again. Burrows it forward. Nahas busy. Cochin. Don't think he needed a handball that one for mine, but uh, it's well mopped up by Cochin. And that is Basher Hawley. Releasing kick. Nice delivery. Greek. A lot of Brisbane players getting back now. Clark, the only one inside his forward half. Space. Kick is good. He did that well then. He, he double lead, I'm uh, sorry, he triple lead then to get into that space again, Jack Rewalt. I don't think he can kick this. He can. I like the position in McCauley. He's had Vickery covered, who's pushed hard forward, but he's also still been in a dangerous spot. 
Five goals last week. From way outside 50, it's a good looking kick. But the accuracy let him down. Well, we said he could kick it, we didn't say he could kick it straight. <laughs> Let's check in with Lee Colbert, boundary side. Just watch Dustin Martin uh, push forward. Uh, as we know, he's a goal kicker from last week, four goals. But Trent Cochin, six possessions. His uh, direct player at the moment is Reigns with a zero. Thanks, Colby. Clay so Beams has taken a ground. A big hit by Shane Tuck almost with his head. Nahas, that should be a free kick. Well, they tend to play that Gatling gun style of footy, the Tigers. They love playing on. They love going through. The middle of the ground with handball comes unstuck it's a little bit yeah. like melbourne if it doesn't work it can be uh it can be punished but at the moment they're getting away with it conquer drilling ball miller nice lead possessions 44 18 richmond's way and rewalt's on his bike goes deep he's got a couple of beat had his hands on it couldn't take it so when Conker took that mark just outside 50 in front of daniel rich daniel rich wasn't even worried about defensively what he could do with the ball Let's have a look whether he hits his hands or not. He hit him there. Back of the pack. Stiller. Good tackle from Cochin. Tigers a faithful. Want ball. Strong work by Delidio. So just repeating the disposals. 46 to 19. Brisbane, uh, Richmond's way. Leading possession winner. Dustin Martin, 7. Foley, Cochin and Foley with 6. Well, essentially it's been played in Richmond's forward half bar, a couple of fast breaks, which uh, the Brisbane Lions have been able to get their goals from. Clark did well, protected it, brought power in. He brings in Collier. Cruises down the outer wing. Short option, Pat full on the extension, took the mark. He's got beams, one out in the square. Rockcliffe, dispossessed, got away from the lunging tackle. All on your own, Tommy Rockcliffe. Won't make the distance. Push out there. Good decision. The Tiger... Uh, Cheer squad gave the decision before <laughs> the umpire. And there's no louder, no louder supporter base, I think, when they're up and going. They got in late, sure, but they've come, the Tigers. Yeah. Nice crowd building, Jarrett. Beautiful night for football. It's a nice kick from Hurley. To Rance. Greg, the former blue. It's a poor kick. Well, the way this game's been played, a turnover like that is going to be very, very costly because you're going to find space on all occasions as they have in this occasion with uh, Mitch Clark. That was a very good kick from Collier. Goes to Clark. The small man beams. Has some work. Couldn't pull it in on the second crack. Well done, Grimes. Dylan Grimes going to be a very good player, I think, for a long time. Tigers uh, resting a number of their midfielders forward. At the moment, it's Cochin who's on the ground. He's resting forward. And the free kick going to Angus Graham. That's his partner in crime. And this is the run from eventually Martin. Goes to Jake King. Has some work to do. Good spoil. King may get involved now. He's taken out of the contest. Over the top was Greek. Got the numbers of lines there. Adcock didn't have possession. They work it free eventually. Still are. Uh -oh. Hard work for Polkinghorne. Good pressure by Richmond. And O'Brien. A bit undecided. Look at them queue up middle of the ground. McGrath to run. Only Clark forward. Can have a bounce. Think about drawing the opponent. Eventually does. Patient Over build up. It goes from Rockcliffe. To Lewenberger thought about the handball and the big man took it upon himself to kick the goal. Well, it all started on centre wing, yeah. Troy, because I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Rockcliffe, wasn't it? Well, Rockcliffe decided to kick the ball instead of handballing it, held a skelter. And he went to the centre of the ground and they lined up like a rugby union line and they just uh, moved it forward and handballed it pretty smartly. Here's McGrath. He just pushes it forward. It's a smart handball eventually. And then they just worked it forward and a final goal. Four behinds last week to Matthew Lewenberger. His first goal of the evening in Brisbane, leading by six points. Just over 11 to play in this opening term. Well, 
Well, they're absolutely dominating clearances at the moment, the Tigers. 7-1 to one and around the ground and 4-1 in the centre. This time, the Lions... Well, they'll get a stat for it, but... Uh, because they got first possession, but they've lost the centre clearance. Foley, two bounces. They'll thump a high ball. Miller will contest. Rewild back of the pack. No, it was Martin. He drifts towards the goal square. He's unchecked at the moment. So is White. Can he keep it in? Dad. Well chased down by McGrath. Had a bit of time to get the ball away. Oh, too high. Was it? Oh, no, I thought it was a high tackle. Yeah, I'm with you, sir. I think he got next, but umpire played a uh, holding the ball decision. You know what that is at this level? When you, Matty White, that one fumble as he was going to pick that ball up, that's putting himself under pressure, and the tackle was laid. Rockcliffe, stabbing kick from McGuire. And on the boundary Gee, line. this in the middle. Colby, the conditions a little bit greasy, but not uh, horrendously so. As you say, Jared, just probably a little dilly, but uh, in terms of wind, there is not a scary. Out the back door, that's Hanley. Clark dangerous. Three bounces, 49 metres, unloads. That's wide. Well, you've got to kick that, or you've got to kick it to the top of the square for your tall players. You have to take it on the responsibility to kick from that when you have two bounces and don't hit a target inside 50. Delidio. Would you like to see him in the midfield more often, Gerald? No, I'm one uh, that thinks the cross half back. I think the Tigers need to have some polish in the defence, and it's the one area where they, they are lacking. They've got lots of talented players through the middle. Beautiful movement of the ball. Martin, Rewald out of position, outnumbered. That said, it's all about timing, and last week we saw him go into the middle, and uh, he was important in the game breaking open. Pauly to O'Brien. Possession 60 to 47, Richmond's way, inside 50s, eight apiece. I'll tell you what, that's what's happening. It's what, you go in one way, you don't win the ball, it comes out yeah. the other way, and everybody's going the opposite side of the ground. The midfielders are just lining up. Pauly, Foley just threw that out, umpire blindsided. Bachelor came in for Daniel Jackson, another suspension. No awareness. Good tackle, great tackle by White, and gets his own ball, almost run down. Bachelor. They prize it free. Foley, another possession. Floats a handball intelligently. Needs a good bounce, Bachelor. Terrific pickup. Equally oh, almost no. as good was King. Defensive work, Adcock. Good game of football here. Rich intelligently. That's the one that's hurting them at the moment. The Tigers have got to look for that kick back to the centre of the ground. Young man undecided. Someone come to him. And the veteran. Used all his experience to get the easy kick. Possession, I should say, power. Lewenberger, in the hands back. in the back. There's those free kicks, Jerry, but it's better on the wing than in the defensive 50, I would think. Yeah, for sure. He's a good target from oh. forward up the ground, isn't he, Sure. Well, he was nearly, nearly full forward for the second half last week and should have converted a little bit better. That's largely because of the performance of the man you spoke about, and that was Brock McCauley. Hanley, big long kick to that man we just spoke about. Couldn't take the mark. Jeez, they got out of jail there, the Lions. Good work by Miller on McGuire. McCauley, McCauley again, again like the look of him. Eventually bubbles free, Goose Maguire gets back. Numbers favouring Brisbane. They look to work it through the corridor. This is promising, Reigns into a dead end. Run down Collier, good work Brad Miller. Just over possession trying to get their way through at the present time. I think the Lions would be well served just to kick the ball a little bit more often. Too often they're handballing it to guys who are immediately tackled. Haven't won a quarter this season, the Tigers. They've lost the last three opening quarters by a combined 16 goal total. Tuck shot it out to Ponca. Ball from Western Australia. There's a bounce. Edwards is the target. Good Did time. well. Runs on. Has a bounce. Will load up from 50. Poor kick. Miller may get back there, but Merrick got there first. I like Brad Miller's defensive work tonight. Oh. Too strong. Too good. Cap it off. Dustin Martin deserved better. There's that fend off again with Dustin Martin. You want to go low on Dustin Martin. And the problem is, if you do, he'll still have his hands free anyway. Rock McCauley's uh, 25. So, good get. Yeah, very good. Nominated rookie. Love the way Conker, though, backed out of the... He's a good player. Backed out of the scrimmage. Didn't just indiscriminately handball to somebody. Got out, he ran, and he got himself some space so he could make a genuine decision. McCauley over the top with the spoil. Shark by Tuck. Got it to Edwards. He'll reload with interest. Rewalt! Big leap! Pleads for it. The 
Don't worry about that, Jack. Play goes on. Martin again. Duck the head. Got rid of one. Boot to ball. Out of bounds. Well, they're just so much more dangerous, the Tigers, when they've got Martin up for. Let's take a look oh. to see if he's grabbed it. Jeez, it was a hard call. Gary Ablett took one like that and was paid mark of the year. <laughs> Good call, Jared. Nahas. And Cochin also. When he's down there roving, there's just so much Dangerous more fun. Yeah. Under pressure, the Brisbane defence. Reigns, Tuck attacked it. Reigns lost it. Edwards can't keep it in. Just going back to Dustin Martin, Jinx. You've almost got to take him to ground. Sometimes you might have to give a free kick away, but it takes him out of the contest. Yeah, the free kick, you don't want it about 20 metres out from goal, though. That's a good point. <laughs> But you don't want him to slip the tackles either, Shorey. I just love this sub rule. That's what's happened is these players going resting forward. Good players in a, in a dangerous area of the ground. Foley, high ball. Brisbane. Not out of trouble yet. Vickery did well, then lost it. It's in the way of Nahas. You heard the umpire's call. I'm enjoying the game because there is not... <laughs> you talk about tackles at this stage. We're up to about, what, uh, 15, 16 each. It's not over the top. You can see it's free-flowing. Whoever uses the ball best and keeps control. Brisbane by six. Tuck thumps it inside 50. Merritt just let it run past him. That opened the door for Martin. Got it to Rewalt on the board. Jeez, he's done it. Well, this is the first in footy, sure. The goal kicker doesn't run off because that's Jack <laughs> Rewalt. The bloke who set up the goal is going to run off. Now no, he's being sent back on. Now, this is a nice little tap there from both of them. Angus Graham and Tyrone Vickery can argue over who should get the assist, but that is just classic football from Dustin Martin. Have another look at this. Well, the goal was easy across the line, but he's got a high power brain. Good to watch. First for the evening, off the back of five against the Kangaroos to go with his four against the Pies in round four. And he's got 17 for the year. One thing about it, though, I think if Dustin Martin's playing at full forward, you don't want Pierce Hanley playing at full back. He, he doesn't. He just hasn't been brought up on the game and smart enough to play that deep. Well, the other benefit of having Dustin Martin forward, sure, is the fact that Jack Rewalt generally gets more opportunities. One out, Tuck will give him another chance. Miller jumps into it. Couldn't take the mark. Rewalt's there. Nahas, too much on the handball for White. Collier went to Nahas and forgot about the ball. White, good defensive pressure inside his attacking arc. Brisbane under enormous pressure. They've got an appetite, so has Conker. Kick around the corner, bending back. Too far. Oh. Just wrestled momentum back, Jared, the Tigers, in the last two or three minutes. Yeah. Well, I have. I, just watching it feels to me as if the Tigers are on top, but they're not so on the scoreboard because the Lions, when they've gone forward, have got some pretty easy goals. Beautiful handball by Rich. Put it into the path. Of his teammate O'Brien, kick is equally good to Mitch Clark. Keen to move it on, big Mitch. The run came from O'Brien again. 55 from home, intelligent play, got it to power. Well, that just that stanza of play showed you the lack of pressure within this game. And firstly, the kick out from full back, to be able to play on with a chain of handballs and then have three or four unmarked kicks in the forward line, Lukey Power. Should eat this, really, Luke. You'd normally a good goal kick, a left footer from that side suits. Goal, one goal last week, 14 possessions against the Saints. 13 point loss and does not miss. All class, Luke Power. And once again, they maintain or regain the lead, the Brisbane Lions. Their efficiency up forward's been pretty good, sure. Unbelievable. And, and the thing about it, Jared, you. If, if we're going to play the game, or both sides play the game this way and the coaches are happy, you've got to fill your forward line with, with class because the ball's getting in Coming there in unpressured. There. No one can stop that. Look at this. That spot came from three or four kicks in a row, a handball over the top, no pressure again, and the time and space to set that up. First for the evening, 213 in his 266 games. Luke Power, Jarrett? Well, they're on fr on uh, the scoreboard. They're in front, but right now clearances are 12 to two to the Tigers, and inside 50s are 14 to nine. So, if you didn't know what the scoreboard says, you'd say the Tigers are in front. Cochin, ball spills free. Rich to capitalise. Thumping left foot kick. Lewenberger's one out. Lewenberger takes the mark. No, then oh, drops oh. it. Thought he might have taken it and had it long enough. Umpire did disagrees, and we'll have a bounce. 
Well, this is the night for downhill skiers. That's the way I see it, because if you're a midfielder and you're running one way, the ball doesn't go your way, you don't care about defence. Daniel Rich again kicking that ball inside 50. Great chase down by Banfield on Newman. Edwards through traffic. Martin loves it in traffic. Edwards out of traffic. Tigers away for the moment. They just look as though they're starting to gain confidence, Jared, with their game plan and their structures, which one? Well, they are, but they play the Gatling gun football like that. Swatter. They haven't yeah. got the maturity to take a mark and say, rightio, let's just settle this down, go back and that's, make a smart decision. And that's a senior player, Nathan Foley, there. Big spoil by Grimes, didn't clear the zone, high tackle. Against McGuan. Tommy Rockliffe to take a shot at goal. They did the same last week against the Kangaroos. They work the ball well, they handball, they overuse it in some ways, but they do give it back a hell of a lot. Shining light last week against the Saints, 29 possession. And game number 24 coming into tonight, pulls the trigger and pulls it wide. 58 compared to 78 kicking efficiency. The line's mm. on top in that department. 4-3 to 3-3. Just over three and a half to play the opening quarter. Okay, handball, handball, yeah, coast to yeah, ground. Pressure. Green and up and under, which is really what the Lions want. McGrath almost juggles the mark. Quickly gathers it again. And they'll look to reload. McGrath wasn't expecting it. Collier. Well, he tackle. did well because he just kept the ball going forward. Oh. Polking horn, tried to get it to Mitch Clark. Eventually gets to his desired target. Wasn't by choice, O'Brien's been pretty good in the opening term. Penetrating ball, numbers favouring Richmond. And in a dangerous spot right here because they've got Lewenberger who should dominate this clearance. He should get first hands on the ball. Look at Daniel Richards, about 20 metres behind this pack here, by himself, inside 50. Lewenberger reached over the top, right clip, perhaps should have had a shot at goal. Look at the handball. Too clever. And Rance, for the moment, up towards Vickery, pushed underneath the ball by the smaller Hanley. Hanley taken down without possession. Good umpiring. Adcock might have gone high, but I didn't think so. Really good defence by Hanley there, just to use his body. He got underneath the arm of Vickery. And that's just a, that's a better matchup. Yeah. Better matchup because Vickery, you know, just hasn't got the lateral movement to worry. McCauley, Rich, stood in the tackle. I'm sure he dis disposed of it properly, oh, puts his head down, burrows through, got it to Beams, and Beams can bring it back! Yeah, good was Daniel Rich. Well, the Tigers are winning clearances, but I'll get a stat for goals from clearances, which is far more vital. Let's take a look at this. It was uh, great work there by... Daniel Rich getting the ball out second effort. Oh. Just burrowed through with a head. Good umpiring decision not to give the free kick. And it squares it up with a very nice goal. Well, I'll just say before, Jerry, that throw in deep in the forward line. Rich was 20 metres behind the pack by himself. If you're going to allow this bloke that much space, you'll get him into his best form of his career. He's hate the tag of the last 18 months. They're going to tighten up. I think it was Nathan Foley who had that job then. The thoughts of the Collingwood Premiership captain. 113 games, Tony Shaw. Brisbane Con by 12. Sorry, Jarrett. Conquer on him at that clearance. Well, sure. He might have made a change. Kick the last two goals and four of the last five, Brisbane. Richmond would love to jag another one. Good chase again by Banfield. Delidio, can he insert himself? Goes out wide. Grigg. King on the lead. Kick won't get him there. Got rid of the lunging at cock. You don't do that often. And Jakey's on the gas. He'll thump it long. Jack. Wants Rewald. Couldn't take it. Good ball by Merritt. Mopped up by McGrath. Fend was good. Handball even better. Inspired football by Brisbane. In search of their first win this year. Great kick out of release too. Wasn't it? It's just a bit one dimensional there, the Tigers. Yeah. The long bomb to Jack Rewald. The stand, the grandstand knew, and so do did the Richmond defenders. Uh, sorry, the Brisbane defenders, and there was about four or five of them around him. Polkinghorn. She's such a dangerous kid. No, Brian did well. He, he wanted the ball good. and went to it. Black, no right boot. Oh, Gives it back to O'Brien. The Irishman enjoying his time on the MCG. To Clark. Time for one more goal, possibly. Up to full forward. Grimes over the top of Nahas. 
O'Brien will go again. Nahas got there. O'Brien outstanding. Got it to Beams. Keeps it alive. Banfield won't get there. McGuan didn't have possession. Beautiful pick up by Rance. And now Richmond. The overlap here. If they can go long, Dustin Martin on his own. Rance again. Martin has to wait. Oh, it's just all oh, class. Loose forward. Vickery sits up. Miller the protection. Stay down and stay down. He did. Well done, Miller. Plays on. Unguarded goal. Doesn't come much easier. Well, it came from the half-back line. They did sensationally well there, their defenders. And to come through the 50-metre area, but well done to Brad Miller. A lot of people off the scene here. We can see Martin again. He's, uh, when Hanley goes to him, there's no way nobody can handle him. But you see Brad Miller hold his man off his opponent there. And that allows Vickery to take an easy, uncontested mark and run into goal. So well done to Brad Miller. He's regarding the mark. Left a bit to be desired. Voss, Wawoden, McDonald. So who's who of the Brisbane coaching panel? Lead by six points. Vickery with his first of the year turns 21 at the end of next month. Attacking opening quarter from the MCG. Black. Reigns wheels around. Sloppy kick. No damage done. Rockcliffe overcooked it. Second forward in. Oh. And the mark is taken by Polkinghorne. Goes to Clark. It's a half volley. Too much on it. what he was doing to Ludio. Conca works hard to space. Nice match up on Rich. Good tackle by the young man. And that is it. Terrific opening quarter between two teams. Down the bottom of the ladder, but you wouldn't have thought so. 4-3-27 Richmond. They've lost another first quarter. Brisbane, 5-3-33. Take a short break. Come back right after this. Gets involved, puts it off to Nahas. Here's the chance for the quick reply from the outside of the boot. He's worked it back beautifully to Lewenberger. Thought about the handball, and the big man took it upon himself to kick the goal. Merritt just let it run past him. That opened the door for Martin. Got it to Rewalt on the board. Stood in the tackle. I'm sure he just disposed of it properly. Oh, puts his head down. Burrows through. Got it to Beams, and Beams can bring it back. And entertaining opening quarter and a lot of defensive pressure going the other way but in the end Richmond uh, lost another first quarter 4-3-27 to the Brisbane Lions 5-3-33 for their ponderings here's Jared Healy and Tony Shaw well Jared I've just got a couple of areas where Richmond have dominated their contested possessions they've won 10 more they're about 10 up on tackle so their pressure skills have been fairly good still 50, uh, 16 each inside 50 so this at half time a quarter time you're thinking there's not a lot in this game except that pressure, can they uh, change that in the goal scoring? The one thing I think you're always going to get with the Tigers if they're going to continue to play this way until they're a more experienced group is Clangers. And they're dominating the Clanger count yeah. right now, sure. is uh, 27 to 18, so they're 50% up on uh, the Brisbane Lions. All right, let's go down to Lee Colbert, who's just about to settle up next to the coach of the Richmond Football Club. Over to you, Colby. Dimmer, uh, one hand, I reckon you'd be pleased with that quarter by the effort of guys, but then the scoreboard reflects uh, not so good. Yeah, we just kept playing too fast. We're playing, uh, you know, mad, mad had a footy, to be perfectly honest. We just need to compose ourselves a little bit more, take our time with our build up. We're trying these crazy handball chains through the middle of the ground, which just isn't us. So, look, if we compose ourselves a bit more, we don't give them the turnovers where they're getting easy goals going the opposite way. So, offensively, okay. Defensively, we've got a bit of work to do. Is that the main thing we are, that you're disappointed in? Because their kicking efficiency, Brisbane, was, was pretty good. Your guys were a little bit down, and you dominated in the clearances. Yeah, they is. Look, dominated in the clearances, obviously. But at the end of the day, we're rushing forward. They've got extra numbers down here. We just need to slow down. And then, you know, we're giving them easy numbers, easy possessions behind the ball. So we'll adjust that this quarter and get a better result. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, man. Well, sure, it's highlighted by you at the start of the match. Uh, I call it Gatling Gun. Uh, the coach calls it Mad yeah. Hatter. You uh, were also keen for the Tigers just to slow up a little yeah. bit to make better decisions. But there was a passage of play for mine that uh, I guess uh, highlighted for me one of the areas they need to address. And just have a look at the numbers of Brisbane Lions players around Jack Rewald. He's got them, uh, he's been covered on the three points of the compass. And McGrath is quite comfortable in picking the ball up. Mm. They need to get him out in some space or in a one-on-one. -on -one. The only time they looked dangerous up forward was when Dustin Martin went to the goal yeah. square and then I would say that Jack Rewalt pushed the centre-half forward. 
Second quarter underway, Brisbane by six points. Cochin pumps it inside, 50. Oh, well attacked, unfortunately, dropping the ball was Collier. Comes to Martin again, another possession, dangerous ball, Miller. Lunging spawn, Nahas overran the ball. Hanley, cool, Jeez, under some lead. pressure. Got it to Adcock. I haven't seen Jed Adcock fumble this often in a game for a long time. Merritt with strength, worked oh. his way in front of Rewald. And eventually, it'll come to O'Brien. The Irishman, fumble, showed a clean pair of heels, handball, put Black under pressure, shut down by Tuck, Martin, another one, kicks into the man on the mark. Well, that proves he's human, he actually mucked <laughs> that one up. Good spoil by Basher Hawley on Polkinghorne, Hawley will go again, Redden in there, Rockcliffe wraps it up. The Tiger's got a problem, Colby's Tuck got a rib injury. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm just uh, just watching him come off. He's certainly holding his right side now, so uh, I'll keep an eye on him and get back to you soon. Thanks, Colby. 209 games with the Cats and Kangaroos. Oh, oh great chat. John captain in 1999. Reigns showed a bit. Handball. He'll get it back, Reigns. Good gut running. It's unguarded. The goal square. It's too far out. He puts a dangerous ball deep. Good spoil by Newman. Lunging spoil late was outstanding from Grimes. Now it's Bachelor. I'll have it thrown in. But what was really good there, Shuri, was that there was a really dangerous situation for a Tiger defender, and he didn't give away a free kick. Mm. Trade up the race for Tuck as well, Jared. It's Colby. Beams to Clark. Off a step. Round the corner. Wide. Now, this has been a problem for both sides. If you kick a point, it's like a rebounding, an offensive play for the opposition here. They've got it out so easily. We'll see if Brisbane do a better job at defending this point. What can the Tigers skipper do? It hasn't started well for the Tigers, not a lot of flow. Miller has to go, Maguire, nice mark. Strong hands. Former Demon, rookie listed by the Tigers. Martin again, Jared, he's coming up. Well, he's just notched up a lazy 16 possessions inside a quarter and two and a half minutes. Yeah, well, he's pushing deep and getting yeah. some of those ones where He's actually stuck you dangerous. There. You don't mind it, but he's so dangerous with his foot, Shuri, that he can often just set them up. But you'd rather have him there in the defensive 50 no than doubt. in the forward 50. I'd be saying whoever's playing on him, and I'm trying to pick it up because no one's going close to it at the moment. If he wants to go down and run behind the fullback, let him do it, but just don't let him do it forward and centre. McCauley, no one with him. That surprised him. Had a clean possession and dropped it. Yep, doesn't come much easier. Obviously, he had spent it before he got it. James Polkinghorne has got the job, Jared. Well, he's with him. He's just got to try and keep that body-on-body uh, -body pressure. Redden was good. Black was good. That's Delivery be a good kick. Lewenberger had to stretch, couldn't take it. Rebound football. Edwards puts a ball into the path of Robin Nahas. Runs onto it. Will arc around. 45, tight angle. Too much. Now yeah, there's a really interesting mark there that was dropped by Lomberger and he needs to address that. He was his, his concentration was either taken by the man in front of him and he's got to learn to deal with that, or he has to go to ground to make sure that he lunges forward and, and makes them extra distance. I'm not sure which one it was, but in his own mind he's got to work that through. Good point you make, Jared. Doesn't take the mark and Richmond reload, scoring shot. Half volley. Too much on it. For Redden. Well, there's another one. Redden, you either have to pull up away from the ball to say it'll bounce up to me, or you know you're going to get to the half volley. But what are you taught as a kid? You're taught to go to the ball yeah, all the time. But then you've got to know you get that's that last final decision makes you a good player or not, Swatter. You know that. Thanks, Shuri. You're a good player. And so is Nathan Foley. Miller got up high. Top the arms. He's had a good start to the game. Brad Miller needs some goals, though, to really put some icing on it. He's presented really well. He's been physical. Well, you've got to keep using him until the point comes, Jerry, that his man keeps going with him and makes that space for Rewalt behind him. Then you go a bit longer, lift your eyes, go over the top. 11 possessions and a goal last week. And uh, 15 possessions and a goal the previous week. Lining up for his first, Brad Miller. And this is his problem. No 
score. It was interesting watching uh, Bradley Miller kick for goal last week. The goal he did kick, he kicked off one step. Uh, all the other ones he uh, pulled and pushed and did everything wrong uh, technically. Colby staying with you for a minute. Shane Tuck back up. Yeah, he's actually, no, he's still there down the race, mate. I'm, uh, I can't see him as yet. Good work. Oh. Banfield. Interception, handball. Grimes with courage. Wonderful play. Didn't take the mark. It was good work by Lewenberger. Strong tackle by Patful. Strong work by Banfield. Must take him down. Rant. Found the target loose and fall to the ball. Graham. Not the right option. Well Banfield. Great energy. Took them all on. Got it to Patfield. Patful, I should say. Redden. Hands in the back. It'll come back. No advantage. I get that one right, Jared, to bring that back. I think so. I think uh, they did a good job. There's a push no in doubt. the back. Nobody else played on with it. Loose checking, still up to 55, lower the vision, too low. That's a bloke who doesn't want to kick in his other non-preferred foot. Grimes, wide. I've got, they've got this covered Brisbane Lions out wide. They're just going to be patient here, the Tigers. Nahas has got the ball. They'd either look for a switch, and that was the one that was on, because the other side was covered by the Lions. Grimes has got Grimes short. Does his best to give the umpire on the boundary line something to work about. Grimes, short. And this is clearly what the coach was after. A little bit more uh, consideration before just quickly handballing it to somebody. You've got to know when to break, though. Now they've got the opportunity. Careful build-up. Patience. Foley. Possession number 13. McGuan. Newman. Good kick. Oh, beautiful kick. Well called, Jared Nahas has oh, drifted yeah, forward. He's got someone forward of the ball as well. It's oh, Jakey no. King, and the cook was the kick was overcooked. Gee, it hurts Richmond a lot. It's hurt them over a five-year period, not being able to finish off their work. They switched the ball beautifully there, controlled it like Jared said. Damien Harvey, you think this is set up for a beautiful goal here, and they just don't finish it. Power goes to ground. It was absolutely the footy that Damien Hardwick's chosen. Right to Foley, centering ball. Rewalt gets mobbed. It's a dangerous bouncing ball. Tyrone Vickery couldn't believe his luck. Well, that's the other side of the coin, Swatter. Everybody goes to Rewalt, which means that someone like Tyrone Vickery is out and about. And there was no one covering there. At that time, Brisbane were a little bit overcommitted yep. to the fall of the ball. And Vickery had more time, should have finished with a snag. So we're still waiting on a goal in this quarter. It was 4-3 to 5-3 at quarter time. It was fast-paced football. Delidio spoiled back of the pack. Conca waits, watches and decides to go on his own. Rewalt will wait. He has to prop. They come at him again. But if you come to him, you've got to make sure you get fist on ball, Jarrett. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure where Daniel Merritt was there. Well, For some reason, he got out of the chain. Maybe it was because it was a reverse of a kick in. Or maybe he's walked away from the chain, Jarrett. Oh, you wouldn't do that. Not if you're a spoiler like Daniel Merritt. He, he would come into town knowing this was a big opportunity for him. Got one jump and Jack. To get the lead back, or not the lead, to square it up again. Rarely misses. Very good kick. Two goals now to Jack Rewald, but he hasn't got a goal yet in a one-on-one -on -one nah. battle with the spoiler Daniel Merritt. Let's see why he's not there. We'll take a look at a wider shot there. Two smaller players who don't do any Daniel Merritt any favour at all. I tell you, if you're Daniel Merritt, there he is coming in now at the top of the goal square. Probably went the other way on the kick in. Yeah. The turnover, you would have been filthy on those two players not getting a fist in there, Jerry. Let's head boundary side, Lee Colbert. Real concerns for uh, Shane Tuck. He's, uh, ben Nason's actually warming up for the Tigers. Matt Hornsby's been down, the doctor's been down, and they're, uh, they're trying to get uh, that rib of Shane Tuck uh, sorted out. But uh, Nason is warming up, so it could be the substitute shortly. Good call, Colby. Ben Nason, the substitute. Jared Pollack for Brisbane. Rewalt, the only multiple goal scorer with two. Rich has been very busy and industrious. So is Black. The old and the new, chipping ball wide. No, Mitch Clark was surely tunnelled underneath the ball. That's dangerous play. Grimes managed to keep it in. 
it's out now. I think the umpire might have thought that he was just so far under the ball he was taken out of it, Swatter. I understand that. In basketball terms, so he'd be sent off for it's that. It's risky. It is risky. Maybe just thought he misread it that much that it was his own fault. He's not happy with Alex Rance, Mitch Clark, and maybe he's got a case. Greg. Pooley. First thought is always a handball. Rance attacked it. Great play. Nahas. Possession number 11 coming up for Robin. He's been good, Robin Nahas. And this boy's been good in his first year of football too, Reese Conker. Rewald a long way from home. Daniel Merritt just loves seeing Rewald get a kick out in the wing. No doubt. You'd be worried about him chasing him back though, Jerry. Just watch what happens in the general play here. Bachelor sits it up to Vickery. Good spoil. Merritt attacked it. Attacking him was Rewalt. White fed it for Robin Nahas. Continues to find space. Goes to Jakey King. And the push-up King nails it. Good transfer of play. Nahas is really a concern for the Lions at yep. the moment. Sure, he's working the Lions. He's running heaps of kilometres to create uh, both assistance in defence and then getting forward. Nice hands here from White. Sets him up. And then he makes a really clever decision to give it to Jake King, who has been so impressive this year for the Tigers. Well, they've got a problem, whether it's Martin or Cochin going forward and these other two smalls. Well, there's Mitch Clark, as we were talking about being tunnelled before. I can't see how the umpire might have seen it. Here it is. Hands him back, pushing with the body. Oh, the umpire said sure that he ran too far under the ball, so that's why there was no free kick. I don't know, Not sure I agree with that, but anyway, play goes on. Richmond lead by six points. Rockcliffe, too much on the handball. Foley, another possession. Grimes continues to build with confidence. So does Vickery. This man's got plenty of it. Miller, the lead-up target. The run from Conker. Tigers full of confidence. Jerry Walt. Good score by Merritt. Great closing speed. Wasn't Goes again. Takes them on. Oh. Look out. Needs to get rid of it and does. Black eventually cruises. Got numbers. Got numbers. Can they hit a target? Down the line. Mitch Clark had a good jump and a great spore by Rance. It's one end. It's Merritt. The other end. It's Rance. Power. Stuttering kick. Gets onto it. Working back, but not enough. Just outside his distance there, Luke Power. So he tried to give it a little bit extra. But Mitch Clark working hard and the Brisbane Lions players ran to the contest that he created should have well had a genuine chance at a goal still think the Lions look a lot more uh, sorry Richmond look a lot more dangerous when they go in forward nearly getting a one-on-one -on -one thing here Rewalt up against Mitch Clark will the smalls of both sides have something to say about it uh -huh, is having a ball is it 14 right? possessions contested possession 64 49 Richmond's way 19 10 clearances Basha Hawley seems to be enjoying his football at his new home Foley Eventually got it to Deledio. You need to be good against Ash McGrath, almost holding the ball. Good pressure though. Overrunning it was power. Arriving late and hard was Edwards. Ricocheted off power and forced the ball free. Martin. Yeah, Lydia would be breathing a sigh of relief there. Yeah. He just overcooked it. Pin the ears, Dustin Martin. Conker. And a fair bit of the ball as well in this second quarter. Repeating the news if you're just joining us. Shane Tuck off the ground. And the sub. For Richmond, warming up Ben Nason, reported by Lee Colbert. Jake King's got oh, a couple well of feet. Done. Good effort by Shaney Stiller and Maguire. Got a handball away. He's injured, Stiller. Stay with it, Jared. He's doing well because he is injured. He got up and gave us a second effort. I'm surprised he actually wasn't paid the mark. He, he's also injured, Jared. Uh, Shane Tuck's gone, and as we can see, Nason coming on for the Tigers. Clearly he's cracked some ribs, yep. Colby, which will put him out for a couple of weeks. So They'll do it one man down now, Richmond. Tuck out of the game, sub is on, activation is complete. Nason on the ground. Maguire. Well, I guess the beauty yeah. of the sub rule is you're not one man down until Brisbane Lions activate their man. And patiently working up to the outer wing, over the top. Great leap by Delidio. Well, it just looks like the Brisbane Lions now starting to break down across their half forward line. Not enough pure ball movement from their midfield where it was uh, easy in the first top quarter. Cawley got rid of Graham. Goes again, the young Ruckman. 
Changes the mix in the middle though, Tuck going off the ground. It means that they probably can't have the luxury of resting Martin and Koch and Ford. That's probably going to have to be Nason's job. Rains, the handball was poor. The kick from Rockcliffe was equally poor. Oh no, it's gone off the Richmond boot, has it? Simon Black, now he's got his left side. You don't want to lose some space for someone to work into. He'll do a little dink chip of about 20 metres if he doesn't take. Uh, He's got to watch it every second here. Well, there's not a lot of space there, Shorey. Nah. A lot of players inside Brisbane's forward 50. I mean, last resort, I reckon, him kick that goal. Simon Black, don't tell me. Oh. No. Looks like it again. What a player he's been for such a long period of time, 279 AFL games. He's had it 15 times also in midfield. Just a quick one, uh, another component to that Shane Tuck injury is that Simon Black now uh, will probably run around on his own. So well, when I say he won't have a direct opponent like uh, Shane Tuck running with him. Thanks, Colby. Spearing ball from Newman to Basher Hawley. Now Basher left footer. Seems, just... set, seems settled in his second home, sure. Yes. Well, it is a very good kick normally. And he runs with the ball, so that's what you need off halfback. McGuan got the handball from Newman and thumps a long ball out to the outer wing. Edwards had a piece of it. Good spoil, though, by Polkinghorne. It was Stiller, in fact. Black was good. Tunneled the handball. Stiller goes again. Nahas is involved with Edwards, and we have a bounce. Outer wing. Four-point ball game with touch under nine minutes to play this second quarter. Brisbane in search of their first win. Richmond looking for back-to-back -back wins. Nine-point victory against the Kangaroos last week. Cochin. Been a bit quieter in this second quarter. Got it to White. Working hard forward. Nason did well. Your man was coming into the path of Miller. He'll centre the ball. Rewalt. Dickery. Pushed underneath the ball. Merritt. At Cock. Just relieved the pressure for the moment, Brisbane. Hanley down the line, kick is good. Rich running through the middle of the ground. He's got to get to a space where he's going to get used. On that occasion, he was clear, but he was never going to get the footy. Great tackle on Black. Good evasiveness, got it from Graham, gave it to Foley. Inboard, White will hit the gas. He shut down, Miller the one-two. Finish it off, White, he does. Oh. And just having a look at Daniel Rich, and this is not to hang the young bloke, Shuri, but he's sitting now 40 metres behind the play. It's because he was running to a spot where he was never going to get yeah. the footy, and yet on the turnover, his man Foley, it would be him or White, not sure exactly who, but they are both at the play. Yeah. And that is the problem with Daniel Rich at the present time. He runs, when he's on the end of the ball, he gets it himself, he gets a handle, he's dangerous, we know that. He's got to find it more often. White's first goal of the evening. I think sometimes Jared, he runs the edge of the square instead of running the wagon wheel where the, the corners of the square, you get out to those gaps. And that, on that occasion, we saw him run with the flight of the ball, but he was 30 metres inside where the flight was going to drop. Turned 24 earlier this month, Matthew White, first goal for the night. Richmond have kicked the only three goals in this quarter in the last four goals of the match. They lead by 10 points. Brisbane in search of their own goal in this second quarter. Clark. Hunts the ball, drops the ball, loses the ball. That's exactly why Andrew Rains, who I think has done a good couple of tagging jobs this year, but why Richmond weren't too fussed about losing was that his kicking skills let him down. Now, that was no pressure going inside 50 then. Hanley, no, it was poking on over the top. To be fair to Rich, looks like he's on out of wing, playing sort of wing stroke midfield. Conker's running with him at the moment. Foley continues to get better. Running was white into the path of Vickery. Merritt. Oh. Rarely beaten, he cocked it up. Vickery did well. Miller presents forward. Didn't oh, get the kick on the target. ball. Thought about going. Maybe he couldn't get there. And that opened the door for Maguire. Well, a couple of horrible blues. One by Merritt. I think he underestimated his opponent. And took it a bit easy around the boundary line. And then that ball just had that target. Had to be hit by Vickery. Coming up for possession number 16, Simon Black. The most of any Lions. This is where they've been falling down. They've even slow played it now, but... Coming to the half back, he's still got seven minutes of this quarter. They cannot get the ball. Maybe it's Mitch Clark's got to come up the ground a lot more and play as a genuine centre forward. Martin with 19 possessions, the most of any player so far. Nathan Foley with 21. Couldn't see him back. It wasn't Conker, it was Martin. 
that he's uh, running with Rich. And it's almost if Martin is picking him up at the moment. Clearly when they've got the footy, that's his role. Very good grab by Polk and Horn. Kick was from O'Brien. Here's Mitch Clark. McGuan going to get help again. And Patful will think about the big leap, but he couldn't get there before Clark came through. Tonka took the tackle. Nahas. Dustin Martin just oh. wheels around. They all peel off. It opens up. Rance gets involved. Delidio. He'll put it down towards Rewalt. What about the kick? Good work by Brisbane. Very good work. They were out then. Richmond had Rewalt got his hands on it. McGrath. Educated kick. Did well. Got it to Hanley. To feeds it over to Power. Must kick the goal. Needs all of his experience. It's two behinds in this quarter for Luke Power. Had a bit of time there just going through 50. Luke would have normally taken a bounce there. Just maybe worried about his lack of leg speed. He's a prisoner line, sure. They're starting to flag a little bit. They weren't no. up and about pushing up for that kick in. Just a couple of players at the present time just not working hard enough to set that zone up. Oh, was... I agree. And I think the one in Richmond's midfield is working a lot harder and than them. Without wanting to give them ex an excuse, it was very humid last week against St Kilda in uh, Brisbane. I might be paying a price for that. Rants out of bounds. Pretty humid at the dome too. Sort of. Yeah, no, I hear you, Jared. I hear you. Young group. I'm making excuses, are not Nine-point ball game. Richmond have kicked the last four goals of the game. And away they go. Advantage paid. Mason, the super sub. Cruises down the outer wing. Vickery, one out. Had a piece of it. Kept oh. his feet. Maguire went to ground. Cap off a bit of great individual play, Carl. This was a great use of the body, though, by Tyrone Vickery. Good positive. He's going to get a lot bigger. Next time he'll hold the market. He just holds his position. Got to get the hands out a bit more, but this was good work. So just needs to finish. Got a good, got a good combination going, haven't they? Yeah. Graham and Vickery. I think it shows you other thing. Manny mcguire has been out of footy for a long, long time. Fooled by that broken knee. Graham, good mark. Strong man in front. They peel off again. That's poor marking. Delidio, two at the back. Yeah. Rewalt, one of it. Oh, well done. Vickery has another crack and misses it. Jack had the sit. I don't know why he didn't run and jump then. But gee, well done. I think the Brisbane lied by oh, Daniel Merritt. That is fantastic. Two against one. Desperation. Even this is dried up for the Brisbane Lions. Big kick by. Oh, that kick's good. Outstanding kick by Polkinghorn. A mark taken by Polkinghorn, I should say. Kick was from Hanley. Good spoil. Desperation there by Bachelor on power. Take a bow, young man. Yeah, it's good defensive work. Back in for the suspended Daniel Jackson. You'd have a quiet word if you were the coach this week, Shorey, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> don't, let or a few. don't let me go there, Swat. What would you say, Shorey? Well, how good. He just tops off this midfield. They'd be dominant. You can play on anybody. Yeah. Oh, they've got a, yeah, expletives. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> Black, another possession. Pat Phil. Good, good kick, kick, Simon Black. Good work by Pat Full. They need a goal here. Will take his best. Well, they haven't kicked a goal this quarter. They've kicked four points. Joel Pat Full. 104 games. Hasn't kicked a goal this year. 21 career goals. The 26-year-old. He's missed just four games since round eight of 2006, playing 103 of a possible 107 games. I think the new deal at the end of the year. Do they need a goal? That is a big bombing ball in search of the goal line. Won't get there. Mitch Clark, another ridiculously high fly. Didn't get his hands on the ball. And away they go again. Nahas, busy. Time for a tumble. Swept on by Banfield. Need to get it towards about the 40 metre mark. Shot on goal. Good kick from Adcock. Finds McGrath. A lot of players back. Just had to be intercepted that one. There was a couple of Richmond players. Could have come off their line quicker. There's the piercing kick. Power. Good spoil. Perhaps too much on the kick. Nahas another possession. Wanted the tackle and took it. Well, Nahas is building a career for himself, Shuri, by work right here. He's yeah. getting up oh, the yeah. ground into defence and then he's the first one sprinting back into the forward line which 
a lot of players either aren't capable of doing or just simply won't do. It takes enormous aerobic capacity in running with pain. Tigers by 11 as we approach half time. Brisbane in search of their first goal of this quarter. Almost came out to O'Brien. A lot of players just standing back, hands on knees. The kick in from Ash McGrath inside 50 when he was in the, in the uh, centre square. He only looked one side of the ground. It was a right-sided look. He's just going to open up his vision. He had a teammate uh, to the left, probably 20 metres clear. Polkinghorn doing the ruck work. Edwards got it to Cochin. Nice handball releases to Lidio. White needed to go two hands. Ed, Adcock, Black another right possession. Hands. Got it to O'Brien. Chipping ball round the corner. Courage needed. Arriving late was Grimes again with another spoil. Had 15 the other week. Just a bit too much hang time on the kick. It was good work all round from the Lions, but didn't finish off their work. They've got no one they can find space, Jared. You even give Richmond credit for their defensive uh, play in defensive 50 because they are breaking down the Lions. White, the former Blue in Greek, up towards the former Demon. Collier could have marked that. He may have let Cochin in, but didn't get possession. Foley, another one. Quick kick to Jake King. Tracks a bouncing ball. Tracking in was McGrath. Oh. Got rid of him. Dax half dagger down. Jakey King runs up. Opens the angle. Has another bounce. Almost gets the capitated play on advantage. Play goal. <laughs> well, he's an entertainer, sure. Oh, he's a rip, really. I mean, this is, uh, everybody has to make their judgment call on this. He goes forward, the Seagull's in his way. He could have gone left and oh, a substitute on the outside, but he took on the player and he kicked the goal. Pierce Handley, you've got to be better at that this level. You know, you get the opportunity here. You thought the dummy, maybe you don't get there, but he did tackle full on. Oh. So Pierce Handley did a great job to leave his man. Yeah, but then he just had to execute. Execute, exactly. Two goals to little Jake King. They'll kick the last five of the game. Richmond, the outdoor game high, 17-point lead with one and three-quarter minutes to play. I'll say this again, Swatter. This is all coming from Brisbane's forward line. Yep. They've got no efficiency in there at all at the moment. Shane Tuck off the ground, substituted off for Ben Nason. Got a rib injury. Adcock to Hanley. He'll wobble a ball towards forward 50. Poorly directed kick, poor drop, everything bad about it. Basher Hawley to Jake King. Over the top was McGrath. King kept his feet, was in the contest. McGrath almost run down by Miller. I've liked his game. Nahas, what about his energy he brings to the game? Brisbane, under enormous pressure. Yeah, that's where they're winning at the Tigers. Their pressure skills, particularly uh, if you compare the forward lines, just a lot higher at the moment. Martin wants it long. Conker will stay oh, down. In the back. Mark in the back. Doesn't matter. It was yeah. good work by Adcock. Minute to go of this second quarter. Well, this just shows how they've worried him, haven't they? They have slow played him down there, Richmond. Which was what Damien Hardwick said. He was a bit disappointed with him that opening quarter. Another spoil by Grimes. Have it thrown in goalless in this second quarter. Brisbane after leading by six points at quarter time. What will be the message at half time for Michael Gloss Jarrett? More pressure, more work rate. I think uh, their forward line is a little bit dysfunctional at the moment because they're not getting the ball in quickly enough. So I wish these umpires had this sort of ability to pull all those off the ball free kicks many years ago, Jerry, because oh. the man sitting to your right wouldn't have got as many free kicks or touches. Kicked the boot box. Just had a great ability, sure, of just grabbing the jumper when the umpire wasn't looking. Oh, that's, this is a really good opportunity. I mean, the difference between this going through and not uh, is one that just as it's a momentum killer, isn't it? It sucked the life out of Brisbane, and uh, the Tigers will go to the halftime break with enormous roar, with a crowd behind them, knowing that they've got the lines where they want them. They have, look at them, behind the goals, the Richmond faithful at the punt road end. They will stand as one if their boy Jack Rewalt can nail it from 49 on the siren in the book! Doesn't come much better than Jack Rewalt. Three in the opening half. Tigers have a handy 23-point lead at the MCG on Saturday night. Jared Shorey with their thoughts after this. Doing enough damage through the middle of the ground. 
Had a great game last week, 28 possessions and a goal. Well, I think they all had great games, but they haven't been able to back it up, Swatter. They just, well, they had three great quarters, but now's an opportunity for them to uh, put another 30 minutes of work together and get themselves back into this match. Trial by 23 points, Brisbane. Cochin, high ball, out wide. It's a good start from Adcock. Here he goes. Vice captain standing in for Jonathan Brown. High ball. Lewenberger has got a track back. It was well done. That wasn't a good kick, though. That, that wasn't kicked to advantage at all. Belidio, chipping ball, Foley. Possession number 27, just over a half play. We talked about the second tier players for Richmond being a focus for Brisbane tonight, Troy. Yeah. This is too easy at the moment. Rance, another possession. Floating handball to Martin. From defensive 50, Nason. Eyes for the ball, so does Rich. Mason almost got rid of Rich. Collier arrives, Edwards went hard. Collier flicked the handball to power. Thumping left foot boot from Rich is very good. Clark, good spoil by McGuan. Well, it was a beautiful kick again. We come to uh, expect that from Daniel Rich, who from uh, all reports had his right calf bandaged at quarter time, so maybe he's labouring a little bit. McCauley, Reigns, Adcock again. Floats a handball back to Rich. Chipping ball to McCauley, edge of the square, got it to Redden. Here's an opportunity for Brisbane. Stuttering kick up towards full forward. Lunging was Lewenberger. Well, again, Swatter, it was a dud kick to the forward. It wasn't to his advantage, and it absolutely advantaged Richmond. So they've had a couple of opportunities inside forward 50. And they've butchered both of them. Delidio, that kick was good to Grimes. Speaking That's of which. Cool. Merritt on the half volley was clean. Gives it to Collier. Great chase down from behind by Rewalt. Beams to Polkinghorn, to Rockcliffe. Another scoring opportunity. Yeah. Working towards the goal on Hawley to fly. Just want to show you some of the thinking here. And it was Tommy Rockcliffe here. This ball comes out. Rockcliffe had left Martin. Now, you'd rather have the Ruckman kick the ball over your head than let Martin run down the wing. He had to stay with his man and force uh, Graham to kick the ball down the line. Good point, Shorey. Martin squeezed a kick towards Rewalt. Merritt in the back. Nahas. Try. I'm not sure if this is the directive or Jack Rewalt just pushing up the ground, but he's doing two things. He's getting some footy and he's getting Merritt out of the way. Good kick by Rance. Finds Miller. Jared Merritt shouldn't, Merritt shouldn't play follow him up there. I'd just be hanging back to help your defence. Let them work their way through. And if he's out of scoring zone, you'd have a win-win, wouldn't you? Now, this is set up at a goal because the forward line was so open. If he's done it himself, well done, the Jack Rewalt. Yep. Coming up for possession number nine. It's due to kick one. Yep. Swatter, he's had a number of opportunities, both this week and last. Tight angle. Southern side to the city end. It's underneath the ball. Didn't make it. Won't carry. Good pass. Doesn't matter. <laughs> nice extension by Vickery on the goal line. Oh, Michael Voss, he would be. I tell you what, he would have thrown the phone, the water bottle, you know, the chewies. Is that what you did? Of course. <laughs> There's the goal. And he'd be entitled to it. Oh, no doubt. And you can just see the look of frustration. He's working with a young group. He's just going to have to suck it up and uh, lower the expectations just temporarily because he's got a very young group. But when you go back and uh, a big man marks it on the line, as we're going to see here, you've just got to ask yourself, where's the cavalry? The big fellow, McCauley, he's in the wrong spot and his cross punch missed. Two goals for Tyrone Vickery, 27 point lead to Richmond. They've kicked the last six goals, seven goals of the game. Brisbane three times inside 50, don't even look like marking the ball. Richmond once, mark it one metre out. Trailed by six points at quarter time, Richmond. Led by 23 at half time, now 27. McCauley, high ball. With no great direction, oh, Power gathered power. the loose ball, unguarded goal square. Do Lukey they need the goal? Power. They get it from Lukey Power. Well played. Well, it was just brilliant work by Power because he used his body and he shoved out a couple of players. But uh, just speaking 
of Big McCauley, Shorey. He's very left arm dominant, as we mm. just saw there. We might have a look at a replay down in the goal square where he tried to punch the ball with his left hand. And it was like a cricketer going in the cross bat rather than <laughs> using his right hand and just poking the ball through. Leading goal scorer for the evening for Brisbane. Two goals to Luke Power. 21 point lead to Richmond. A couple more would be handy for Brisbane. McCauley runs into Graham. Beams put his head over the ball. Didn't come away with it. Basher Hawley did. Edwards into trouble. Got out of it. Foley quick handball into the path of Graham. Just needs a good bounce and gets it. Edwards tells him to go forward, young man. He does. Rewalt will launch at it. Merritt over the top. Good lunging spoil. Happy with the status quo, Jared, or do you try something different for Brisbane? Well, they've got a pretty restricted group. Mm. I mean, the one thing I would maybe look at is pushing Ash McGrath into the forward line. I think he's a bloke who can kick goals. I know he's probably their best choice at uh, guarding and running forward. I see now he's gone on to Nahas, which is a pretty important role for him. Bree puts it deep over the top. Vickery, three bites, couldn't take the mark. Pat Fulton, Vickery goes again. Slick handball to Miller. Call that a centering ball, coming hard, good oh. contest, great courage shown by Pat Full. Uh, McCauley, I think it was. Yeah, well picked up, Shorey, my apologies. Down. No, that's all right. He goes to power, he goes to ground, Newman does the mopping up. It was good courage nonetheless, and that's a poor kick. He's up though, Brock McCauley. Black gets involved. And Brisbane go forward, Hanley, big fly over the top, ground ball by O'Brien's gathered. Needs to be good with the kick. Clark one out, kick over the back, goes towards the goal square, beams off the ground. That's the other thing I tried, try and get Clark up a line. I don't yeah. think he's working in the goal square. Here's Brock McCauley now. <laughs> I think Brock's got to learn, get your hands out in front. If you accidentally hit someone on the draw or something, you get a free kick, that would look like accidental. He did the old basketball block. Don't leave with your head, son. The tall, the tall full forward not working. No. Nah. Maybe pushing him. Rewalt! Big fly. Couldn't take the mark. And go with a small in behind him. Rich lowered his vision. Made hard work for Mitch Clark. Look at shows off his shins. Yeah, I'm with you, Jared. But, and it doesn't matter who it is coming out of the square. Yeah. You're right. Bring Mitch Clark up. Lewenberger looks like he's sneaking around the back. And there's Re Jack Rewalt. He'll take mark of the century, I reckon, by the end of his career. McCauley again. This time Graham on the second attempt. Came to Hooley. A hand pass to Greg. The only thing I'd probably do, Shorey, is get this sub on, get one of the ruckmen off. Yeah. Mark taken by White just inside the boundary line. Kick from Martin. I think I'd go McCauley because I think Lewenberger can do it up forward a bit better than him. Rewalt, good spore by Merritt again. What can Black do? By a handball to his teammate in power. He looks up. He only has one man inside 50 deep, mark, and it's man. Lewenberger. Good spore by Rance. Lewenberger did well on the second attempt. Brisbane. Searching for another goal. Power. Back to McCauley. Back to power. Patient build up. Chipping ball to Adcock. Just outside 50. And this would take his best. Lewenberger's got a mark. So he'll put the ball towards Clark. They arrive late. Rance was good. Yeah, it's just too predictable at the moment. Yep. You'd be better off for mine looking for something 30 metres out rather than continuing to go to the big bloke who hasn't got near it just at the moment. Goal apiece in this third quarter. It's been hard work for Brisbane after they led by six points a quarter time. Great handball by Black. Got it to Adcock. Off a standing start. It works too far wide. There are only five minutes of really good footy away from yeah, no back doubt. this game, sure. No doubt. If, if Richmond's pressure drops, you know what happened in the first quarter. That free-for-all style of the game. They just need that for five minutes. Tom Cut. 6-2 inside 50s. Favouring Brisbane at the moment. They've done well to hold the run-up of Richmond, Brisbane in this third term, but just not getting goals. Mm. Rance, happy to share it with McGuan. Still haven't got anybody out this side though, Swatter. You only do this trying to break free and get someone loose so you can link up and go over the lines. Have to kick to a one-on-one. -on -one. Just joining us for the first time tonight, Shane Tucker's off the ground. Subbed off in that first half, had a problem with his ribs, and Ben Nason is on the ground since then. So 
Graham didn't even know he had the free kick there. Cochin. Oh, oh, bit too cute. 66 playing 47. Vickery with the only Richmond goal in this third term. Power, he's got two. And he's got a bit to worry about. Michael Voss. Black, another possession. What a player he's been. Good vision, got it to Lewenberger. And he's still running onto his left foot. Yep. People going <laughs> onto his right foot. Collier. They've got a player loose on the outer side, he's Pat Full. Clark's got to get one short. He'll thump it long, he's got two to beat, and he got up way too early, Mitch Clark. Well, he's trying to jump because he's getting blocked from the front and the back. And given that there's two on one, he's saying to the players, where else? There's got to be some space for somebody in front of me. There's got, if there's two on one, there's one clear. I think he's got to get on the lead a bit more too. You're not going to take a pack mark every time it comes inside 50. Power. Not power again. Got one what a start. in this quarter. He's got two, and he has three. Well, Jared, they've pumped the ball inside 50 a lot more than Richmond. Richmond's gone forward once and kicked their goal. And I said at half-time, they needed someone, maybe Daniel Rich, I've said Luke Power, and I thought he was gone before half-time. He missed the ball hard on the ground level, but he's a smart player, knows where the goal is. He's done it his whole career. That is a great snap. That's an understanding of the pressure around you and also where the goals are. Back-to-back -back goals to Brisbane off the boot of that man right there. He's got three for the game. 13-point deficit. Centre clearance important right now, Jerry, for Brisbane. As it is for the Tigers, uh, they would not want to let the Brisbane Lions get three goals in succession. So they need to get some uh, hand on ball and get it out to their dangerous player, and that's a good start. Vickery. And it was Greg, but Brisbane going forward again. Delivery was good. Great spoil. Oh, Terrific spoil Black. by McGuan. It comes back though. Brisbane will penetrate 50 and then ends up with Beans. Simon Black, you are an out and out star, Jarrett. <laughs> Take us through that one. Well, it's called the double play. <laughs> he set it up. In fact, uh, the first kick should have been marked, but the Brisbane Lions player wanted to go with a chest mark. And then Simon Black followed up and uh, gave a, a player even deeper, closer to goal. Here's a good tap. Doesn't get the foot Tackle away by Black. And he'll come back and whip onto his right foot. Hits a target. That should have been now watch this front. Clay Deans got one goal in the opening quarter to bring it back to a seven-point ball game. Important kick, right. and he kicks beautifully. On well, his short career, the one thing we do know, Shuri, is he can kick goals. Yeah, no doubt he can kick them from a long way out too. Booms. That's his second now. If for any player, young player, who's played the game, we saw him tackle before. He hit the target, should have been a mark, and followed up. It just shows you, you can play this game, even if you're not super quick. If you want to work hard enough, be urgent about your game hard enough, and also have a good footy brain. Younger brother of Dane has got two goals. Brisbane are coming. They've kicked the last three goals of the game. It's a seven-point margin now. Now it's Damien Hardwick's turn to have a, something to think about. Good game of football. Hope you're enjoying it. Graham on the ground again. Lost track of it. McCauley was good. Little momentum ship with Brisbane off the back of those last three goals. Dustin Martin needed a tough possession. Good Taking time. a ground was good work. Rockcliffe to McCauley. Just kick it, young man. He managed to do that. Lunging attempt with Foley. Polking horn he can bomb four it. in a row. All of a sudden, appearances have yeah. gone right around, and it's the Brisbane Lions dominating. Damien Hardwick and Michael Voss both chewing the phone. <laughs> just saying, uh, Swatter said Damien Hardwick's got something to think about. Well, he just came off the ground. It's called Simon Black. He's having a spell. <laughs> that gives him something less to think about. He's had seven possessions so far in this quarter. 25 for the game. Best on the ground is Nathan Foley with 29. Rewalt Merritt again. He's got great closing speed. Terrific spoil. He's done a good job, hadn't he? It looked like, I think Rewalt looked like he or someone's down. He's the number one spoiler in the game. Down oh, down there. well, last year he was horrid, Jared. He didn't have a pre-season. Let's double with some friendly fire Oh, here. Jack's got him. <laughs> Jack once again up the ground there. Oh. Angus Graham it is. 
He's a sick boy down there, Lee Colbert. He's a big knock to the head, so we'll just see him come from the field now, I think. But um, we'll just be interested to see whether he's concussed or not. Now, Jerry, this is this is the big one here, because if Angus Graham cannot come back on, do you then go with the three Ruckman to get a dominance around the clearance and keep them on as long as you can? We thought maybe five minutes ago, make the change. That's not the bigger problem for Richmond. They're one man down because Shane Tuck's already off. So if he is concussed, and Lee Colbert, no, back down to you, they're going underneath with uh, Angus Graham. Yeah, just hopefully nothing wrong with his jaw. That seems to be a little bit of a concern for the doc, so I'll keep you updated. Thanks, Colby. Brisbane are coming, trailing by six points. Right. Good tackle by White. Oh, must have been after the initial tackle. The supporters don't like the decision. O'Brien's been very good for Brisbane, Jared. Well, he's been a worker and he's running hard on the lines. His disposal has sometimes let him down. McGuan did all the hard work on Lewenberger, couldn't take the mark. He's got support in Hooley. But he's certainly a, uh, a case study that's getting better and better. Educated kick, got it to Greg, and he put a low ball. That's been a problem for both teams tonight. Jack Rewalt managed to win possession, gain an extra 40 metres. Miller arrives late on Maguire. Might worry Goose out of it, and he did that well. McGuire with a bit of composure. Maguire dropped it again. He's just adjusting himself, Matt Maguire, to AFL football. Is he right? And eventually Brisbane go forward again. Good mark by Grimes. Three bites. Haven't seen much run off this half-back line now. They've got the man up there that gave them all the run in the first half in Nahas. Short. Delidio to Rance. He's had a bit of it tonight. Gee, there's been some ebbs and flows in this game, isn't it? You thought Richmond's great defensive skills. Uh, Brisbane couldn't get it through their forward 50. Now they've kicked their three goals to nil and oh, three goals to one in the quarter. Banfield will go, put his head over oh. the ball. Great contest. Grimes involved as well. Banfield oh. again, hunting the ball. Oh, they're under enormous pressure. Clark will arrive late. Not out of trouble yet. Richmond McGuan weaved his way through traffic. They may get out of jail on this occasion. And for now, by Rance, they do. Quick handball. Martin. Cutting run. Thumping ball. Up towards Cochin. One out. Good contest. Collier did well. Cochin kept his feet. Works across the goal. Well, Cotton did really well in the one-on-one -on -one with Grimes, but having won it, as we look at uh, Todd Banfield going oh, hard at the footy, in fact, both players went hard. There was a head clash there, and they both jumped up. But Trent Cotchin, just with a bit more poise, could have run away from that and bounced into an open goal. Eight minutes to play this third quarter. Vickery is on his own at the moment. His partner in crime, Graham, is off the ground. Nason tried to find a handball to... Miller, eventually to Nahas, worked hard in some space, rewards his team with another goal. Well, gee, the kick out from Daniel Rich set up his opponent, his, his teammate here, well, we're just seeing the end of it. And then the follow-up, Miller, just to Nahas, and Jared said Nahas worked from the half-back line just before to help him run it out. Well, he's finished off on this occasion, that was much needed by the Tigers. Great work from Nahas. He's having a good game. Let's head boundary side and check in with Lee Colbert again, Colby. The sub for Brisbane has been used. Uh, Michael Voss, uh, on comes Jared Polak, and there you see Matt Goose Maguire uh, out for the evening. Uh, good news for the Tiger supporters. Angus Graham is up, he's moving, uh, so it looks like he will be able to take further play in tonight's game. Thanks, Colby. Second rebound, or throw up. Steadying goal off the boot of Robin Nahas, and you've liked the way he's gone about his footy, Jarrett. I think he's been a star. I think he's just about Richmond's best player. I know that uh, others are much more high profile, but his ability to work both ends of the ground has been significant. Guess who, Shorey? Well, Black again. A kick in hope. Lewenberger out of hands. position. Polkinghorne was in oh. position. Got it to power. Lukey Power <laughs> has got four. But it was a set-up handball, Shorey, that yeah. sometimes you don't see as instamatically as you'd like. But this time, it was a beauty, and Luke Power 
on the end of some, but uh, winning his own has set up the goal. And Leuenberger too, Jared, just brought the ball to the front, didn't get it cleared a long way. That's what the big body does sometimes, so not a bad contest there. Great handball though. Is it Polky Horn? Not sure. Luke Power with four goals, but right that one down to Black who kicked it in, but Polkinghorn's quick hands, front wasn't and centre roving and then quick hands uh, was delightful. Four goals to Luke Power, 26 possessions to Simon Black, the old firm, are doing their bit to keep their team in the game. They trailed by seven points, Brisbane. They trailed by as much as 27 points when Vickery got his second goal and Foley swooped on it. Arcs around, quickly onto the boot. Nason stays down. Well, King wants a free kick. It's not coming. Oh, oh, take poor kick. kick Black. Good tackle by Foley on Simon Black. He, he did well there, Simon Black, because if he didn't try to get rid of that, you could see him pumping his hands at the ball. He probably didn't want it to come out anyway, Swatter. Yeah, good explanation on that occasion by Stuart Wynn. He's gone double tall in the forward line for the Brisbane Lions, both Lewenberger and Clark. Deep. Black is the money man. McCauley got it to him. Black ties it up. Continues to work hard. <laughs> How about that? Even on his back, he gets boot to ball. Polly, oh. the super sub, looks up. Has an unguarded forward 50. Puts a ball in hope. Rance will get back there. Lewenberger in pursuit slowly. And Rance. Teaming up now, the Richmond defenders. It's still uh -oh. a little bit of hard work. Grimes involved. Not out of trouble yet. A little bit of composure needed. Rance on the left boot. Up towards Newman, protects the ball. Well, they did well to get it across the line. But one of the negatives of having two ruckmen in your forward line is whilst they can run hard and chase her, they haven't got the agility to drag blokes down in general terms in comparison to smaller fellows. That's the negative. The positive, of course, is that they take, can take grabs if the ball comes in there. Six and a half still to play this third quarter. Rockcliffe got it to Lewenberger, hurriedly onto the boot, fortuitously found Redden. Well, the other thing we saw then, Jared, too, was Lewenberger's danger at the contest. Luke now, Power, sure, he's just sneaking forward. <laughs> there he is, right there, there on there. the left. He's just been picked up by Nahas. But the other thing, they, they were both one side of the goal square, and they were up the ground, so if it goes over the back, their the turning ability, like you said, is no good. You've got to have at least one deep and one thirty up. Get at least have the height in both areas. Kick four of the last five goals, Brisbane. This will bring it back to a one-point ball game. Big kick in the context of the game. Brisbane still looking for their first win of the year. Slight angle. 45 metres out. Umpire does not move. Here come the Lions. Game on. Courageous fight back from the Brisbane Lions. They've had their medal tested a few times and uh, with the exception of one belting by the Bulldogs this year sure they've yep. stood up really well I don't think anybody's questioning their work rate which I think was the one issue that uh, they could lift today but their tenacity over the first six games of the season has been pretty well spot on Lee Colbert Delidio's gone into the middle, gentlemen, and it's taking up uh, Simon Black. So, uh, obviously, Hardwick very concerned about Black's influence on the game. And I think also he's just dropped out of it uh, across that half-back line, so it's a double win. Lewenberger in the ruck. So is Delidio, and he gets a clearing kick. Rewalt trails Patful. That's an easy mark. Brisbane kicked the last two goals and four of the last, five of the last six. A trail by point. Redden, last goal scorer, to Polek. Not a good kick. Oh. Well, he's clearly got a defensive mindset, Jerry, because he could have marked that on his Grimesy, yeah. Just one thing about, well, just watch young Polek, a good player. He came on last week and uh, had an impact. Number Col four. Colby, Simon Black off again. Yeah, he's just come up for a quick rest. Uh, had a chat to Michael Voss, so it'll be only a couple of minutes. Conka to Foley. Good to Martin, Rewalt one out with Merritt in front, the big body Merritt got in the way of Rewalt, Patful, he's able to turn it inside that defensive 50, did well. Yeah, well done. Well that is a really well disguised deliberate out of bounds. <laughs> and then he did a little toe tap and then a dive and just wobbled it across the line which is all the umpires are asking of you. Graham and Lewenberger, Rewalt without it, comes to Nahas, a little fumble, the give to Grieg. To Martin. 
Goes to Conker. Great take. Chase down and tackled by gone. Beams. Oh, has to be ball. Has to be. Took a couple of steps. Gee, they've lifted, haven't they? Work rate. Their defensive work rate. He's holding the ball up in the air. I don't know what that's for. That just settle down, boys. That makes Clark come forward, and I'm going to kick it on top of your head. Well, Lewenberger and Clark are both together here again, Jared. Doesn't matter. It's a poor kick. That is a poor kick. Did well to wrestle it back, sure, and then they give it back. The issue of stoppages is something that Damien Hardwick would like to address, though, whilst they're winning across the ground. Brisbane Lions kick five goals. All their goals from stoppages in this term. The ball up towards oh. Rewalt, back of the pack. Nason dribbles it through for a steadying goal. Richmond out by seven. Well, any defender, and he does it so well, Daniel Merritt, normally a great, one of the best spoilers in the competition. Just watch this one, Jared. The one hand just did not get it forward. And Nason, his man, got sucked into the contest. Uh, you have to get the momentum going the other way if you're going to go. You had to go, I didn't, no worries. It was just that he missed the ball. I reckon he needed a hand, hit it with his right hand as well towards the boundary side. The left hand was always going to punch mm. the ball towards the centre, Good point. even if he connected. Started as the substitute, replaced Shane Tuck, three possessions, and importantly a goal, gets it back out to a seven-point ball game. Just over four minutes to play, Brisbane. Can they bounce back with another goal? Power has four. Beams two, Lewenberger hurriedly towards Power, the man of the moment, good spoil, Black another possession, someone must shut him down, Brisbane keep it alive, but Hurley read it well, Hamble towards Grigg, good tackle by Rich, Grigg did well, got boot to ball, Hanley attacked it, takes them on, tries to go to Rich and does, good handball, great vision to Lewenberger, nice link up, O'Brien, this is an important kick, Black had to wait, Newman over the top, Adcock, oh. tough ball down low. Mason did what Adcock tried to do. And a risky kick that came off the boot of Batchelor. Foley did well, kept it alive through the corridor to Mason. Poor handball, toe poked it. Interception, Pollock. Brisbane on the rebound. Still time for a goal, three minutes to play. Rich cuts through the middle of the ground. He'll need a target. He goes wide. He's got a man free. That is great a... kick, great mark, Rockcliffe. You called it, Jared. Just take us. That was sensational, that kick from Daniel Rich. Well, he kicked it into space. There's nobody coming from the other side of the ground. The last kick that was centered going to black was a dumb kick because it had A, too much air time, and B, because in the center corridor there was three or four blokes coming. This kick was long enough, smart enough, for Tom Rockcliffe just to run sideways and get it on his own. 23 possessions coming up, a behind. Would love to have a goal. It wobbles, it works its way through. We've got a one point ball game again. Well, he's not the most polished footballer, no. sure, but you'd love him to turn up at your footy club, Tommy Rockcliffe, and you'd love to play with him because he's a worker and you can rely on it. Now that one there, I think it was Foley trying to get the ball to Nason. A, a very simple handball. As people tell me, Jared, my grandmother, she can handball and she finds it hard to kick. That's that right. <laughs> and, she, and he missed the target then, a simple turnover in the midfield killed him. Then she play for Collingwood. <laughs> Six goals to three in this third quarter. Tommy Rockcliffe got his first, and we've got a one-point ball game once again. That's a beauty, isn't it? A number of the stars have faded for Richmond, in particular their midfield group in particular. And this man continues to shine. He is dominating. Black. Good support from Rich. Up towards Polkinghorn. Clark trailing in Rance. Had it, lost it. Players collide. Powell's got four. Oh, Centering yeah. ball intelligently. Black, another possession. It's just black and power. It is, isn't it? Dirty possession, spearing kick oh. to McCauley. Well, That's smart footy. McCauley shows that whilst he's inexperienced in AFL terms, he's clearly experienced in football Gives terms. it to Rich. He'll unload from outside. In 50. Front. Brisbane in front. And just love the way that McCauley found some space. Well, you said about uh, experience in the quaffle, that's where he's from. The other thing was, he's experienced enough to know a man who can kick a goal from outside 50, and the big ruckman might have struggled. But this man, Simon Black, they, they've got to take some control of him. Delidio, I don't think, should be the man. He's not defensive enough. You've got to put someone else who, to, 
tell you who I might get. Jakey King. I think Jakey King could go for him with maybe Crullin because he could run with him. It's a good call. Good call from Shuri. Two goals to Daniel Rich. Brisbane lead by five points, and that's after they trailed by as much as 27 points at the three-minute mark of this third quarter when Tyrone Vickery kicked his second goal. Seven out of nine, Swatter. Yeah, it's and been Shuri's uh, thrown up Jake King into the middle as a negative player. And at the moment, they're trying to get attack on attack. Graham just moves it on quickly. Rewalt! Good fly, couldn't take the mark. Dangerous ball. Richmond, can Delidio yeah, step man. up? Need a leader's goal here. It won't be this time. That's what Damien Hardwick is looking for, putting him on Simon Black. That he creates as many goals yeah. as Black does. That's one way of neutralising. The other one is Joe King. Pollock, another possession, subbed on. Black's there and thereabouts. So did, is power. Did Big well games. there. Did well to cause that spillage then. Just to stop the ball from going the other way when they didn't hit the target Brisbane lines. Jared Pollack has had four possessions. He's opposite substitution. Ben Nason, four with a goal. But Brisbane lead by four points. What a quarter it's been. Still in search of their first win. Three competitive performances and a big beating by the Bulldogs. Adcock tunnelled it behind himself. Picked up by Basher Hawley. And he thumps it towards Rewalt. Merritt will get back there quickly. Manages to keep it in oh. and then put it out. He was always off balance, trying to look for a little bit too much, the big fella. He called him, has he called him? Deliberate, what? he's run it over, and I think that's dead set right on the umpire then. Not he, sure he does. Well, he has run 10 metres. Now, have a look at this. This is disguised. He knew what he was doing exactly. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a costly one. He, he knew too, Daniel Merritt. Rewild runs around, opens up the angle, and where is the resting Ruckman right. for Brisbane? Yeah. Unforgivable. It wasn't just a Ruckman. That was horrendous. That's spectating at its worst, and it wasn't just the Ruckman, because at least he had an opponent. There was a shorter version of the uh, playing personnel right uh, in the square, surely, in the square. doesn't go. Let's There's someone on. just spectating there. Oh, Shani Stiller. What's he doing? Now back to the out of bounds, though, Jerry. Pretty stupid play. It wasn't good. Too clever. Four goals to Jack from eight possessions, but that was a very bad mistake by the Brisbane defensive end. Tigers by two. Great quarter of football. Just have pushed some numbers into defence here, the Lions. All the numbers are down behind the ball. Call eight. Don't want to concede another one. Delidio, important clearance. It won't be a mark. Brisbane defenders spoil each other. Still up. Watch out for Jake King. Great tackle. Arm was pinged. Prize free. Should Hawley free got a handball to Rewalt. Flick down ball to Nahas and there's another one. And King he's giving it to him behind plate. Jake King's just giving it to... Who was that? Uh, Stiller. Stiller trying to break the tackle. Quick kick outside and they get a goal on nearly on three-quarter time. But that was the turnover there. Exactly the way... Hooley kept the ball going forward. Rewald, good hands, but it was before then. Jake King deserved that goal. Well, they led by five points, but in the last four minutes, they've allowed Richmond to get two goals and the lead. Interesting, they had all the numbers behind the ball, but the kick went over the numbers mm -hmm. head. Yeah. Nahas has got the attention of Jared tonight. Three goals. He's been a beauty. Tigers by eight. Have Brisbane used up all their gas? A couple of clearances here. Good mark, Foley. 37 disposals. Rewalt. And a piece of it, couldn't take it. Polkinghorn. McGrath. Floating handball to no one in particular. Oh, McCauley, good composure. Did well. Under some pressure. Out towards Power and Basher Hawley. Nason in support. Good work by Power. Might be just enough. There that is it. Fourth quarter set up. It'll be a cracking last term here at the MCG Saturday Night Football. Brisbane leading. Brisbane trailing, I should say, by eight points. We'll come back after a short break and get Jared and Tony Shaw's thoughts.
A centering ball, coming hard, good oh. contest, great courage shown by Patville. And the ball getting away from oh. there again. Got one what a in start. this quarter, he's got two, and he has three. Manfield will go, put his head over the ball, great contest. Grimes involved as well. A kick in hope, Lewenberger out of position, Popping Horn was in oh. position, got it to power, Lucky power. Oh. Prize free, sure. Hooley, free got a handball to re-roll, flip down ball to Nahas, it's another one. And King, he's given it to him behind play. It's been a willing contest, eight point lead to the Tigers. Let's check in with Lee Colbert, boundary side with Michael Voss. Vossi uh, dominated for a lot of that quarter, but just a couple of little frustrating things that upset you as a coach. <laughs> yeah, little errors. Uh, yeah, the coach killers, as yeah. uh, Spud would say, but we just got to protect our goal line a little bit better than that, especially the situation of the game. We probably didn't outnumber there. A couple of those little things are hurting us, but really pleased that we're able to turn that around because in the second quarter, we just didn't look like we had a lot of run there. It must have been pleasing to see the boys fight back the way they did. And your old firm, they're just having an impact again, and you got a quarter to really uh, potentially win another game. Yeah, put the challenge a little bit to the leaders at half time to be able to do that. And Blackie stepped up, there's no doubt about that. Luke Power also did. Um, so, but now it's going to take everyone. You know, we've got to rely on the fact that use some sort of resemblance. They've had a six day break. So, we've got to finish the game strong. The opportunity is there for them if they want it. Thanks, Ozzy. Thanks, Colby. Thanks, Thanks Colby. Uh, in that second quarter, that man there, on a third quarter, that man there on there. On well, there. here Top it is. Here is now, that, that has to be deliberate, and he was caught for deliberate. I heard the umpire say it. So, you can see Jack Rewald, and you knew. He knew exactly what he was trying to do, and then when he bowled him to his hand, he knew that he was trying to con the umpire, so... It's a good attempt. Oh, a good attempt, but it, it had to be smarter because that then cost them a goal and they got another one after it, so it just turned the trend of the game when they were on top. He's been good all night, I think he's been fantastic, but uh, you've got to be a little bit better and, and maybe camouflage it a little bit better than that, Jared. I agree, sure. He was probably <laughs> just a little bit wide, just a little bit wide, but he's a darn good player playing well tonight against one of the superstars. Well, he kicked it in the, kicked it in the first row. Tigers by eight. Adcock from the clearance. Kick inside 50 towards Clark. Good score by McGuan. And as far as power, has four. High ball up towards Clark again. They all wait. Taking it was Newman. He went without it. It's a loose ball. Top of the goal square. Black again. Newman somehow managed to come away with the ball. Grimes. Was he under pressure? Genuine? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's in the forward 50, that means it's pressure. <laughs> That's the definition for the guys. Who wins, gentlemen? Oh, look, the Tigers, were just where the fans might get them across the line, but this game's been a 50-50 game the whole night. Jared? I'm with Shuri. I like the fact that the Tigers uh, have got just a little bit more golf power up forward. White, a good mark. Kick was from Delidio. I'd love to see Clark in the ruck just for five minutes, Shuri. I know McCauley's doing a pretty good job, but yeah. I think he just needs releasing Clark. Either that or I'd be sending the message out to him and say, do you want to play in front for once tonight instead of trying to take big grabs? Get in front and lead, get on the lead. Hooley pulls the trigger through the corridor. Rewind has to mark him, and he does. Comes out to the broadcast side. Nahas in space again, Jarrett. He's been there all night. Forward was always going to do it, can close to 49. This will bring the house down, no it won't because it's wide. Just over kicked it, just tried to wind up. You saw him go around the corner a little bit. She uh, wrapped up Jared Pollock. That was very ordinary play, Jared Pollock. Let's have a look at this for pressure. Hold on. Look at Jared. this pressure, he's oh. under enormous pressure there, Jared. <laughs> just fumbled under that pressure, Jared. That's right. Foul is the other one who's creating all sorts of records at the present time. He's had the ball 37 times in three quarters. Hasn't touched it so far this term, but he's had a darn good night. It's great to see him back, Swatter. They yeah. missed him big time last year. And he's uh, started the season very, very well. Could only manage four games in 2010, Nathan Foley. Calf, ankle and Achilles problems. But as you said, great to see him back in the City Richmond jumper. He eventually dribbles free Nahas. Got it to Edwards, hurriedly onto the boot. Goes towards the goal square. Courage from Jakey King. Oh, boy. Well, this bloke, Shorey, was saying this last week. He came in and people thought, there's no way known this guy's got a future as a footballer. He is one of the greatest self-made wow. men I've seen in the game. He wanted it. He wanted it. And there was a couple there. Again, young pilot. And... I'm just going to have a look at a bit of play in a minute, Jared, about how he didn't corral. But Jake King, you've got to take a bow. That was sensational play then. He's got to kick the goal. 
We've got two coming up for possession number four. A little bit more breathing room. They've got it. Uh, he's become a bit of a goal kicker, hasn't he? He's kicked his threes and a uh, couple of threes this season. Just here, Nahas, and it was I'm talking about young Pollock there, number four. He had to just keep inside the corridor, make him kick on his left or yeah. kick hurriedly on the right. And here's Pollock again, goes back with Jake King. Now, he's a young kid. I don't want to... He, he did run back with the ball and he thought his teammate was probably coming through. But that's the difference in a game, a very tight game. He'll learn from that. And there has three goals. Which one have kicked the last three goals of the game, and they lead by 14 points. Still go back left. Daniel Merritt over the line, Jared. He didn't like it, Shuri. I know. Well, didn't really need it either. That was the. That was the. That's point. what I didn't like about it. I've kicked three since it. Edwards, marked closely by Adcock, wrap each other up. This bloke's not even the boats tonight, I don't think. 23 possessions coming up. Gets away from Lewenberger. Drew the opponent. Got it to Hawley. Gave it to Deledio. Banfield in pursuit. Got away from that. Good evasiveness. Jack. Rewalt Merritt. Underneath the ball. Swooped on Martin. Just got boot to ball. Merritt keeps it in. And now Brisbane can work the outer side. He's played Rewald really well, Merritt. He's forced Rewald to take the front position all the time, and he hasn't. The only time he's been beaten really has been when he's been on the lead at the 50 or 60 metre mark. Power, forced Reigns to come at the ball, meant heavily. Jeez, he just dropped it, surely. And Reigns is down behind play, boys. Deledio, he puts it in the path of Edwards. We get there in front of McCauley, has support in White. Handball over the top, White. Paddled it to himself, opens up the angle and puts it across the face of goal. Vickery in pursuit against Patful. Good spoil, Patful. Stays in. Well done by Vickery. Won't get there, Martin. Rich, far to handball. Good vision. Got it to Rockcliffe. Just hanging on here, Brisbane. Yeah. Just hanging on. The Tigers can smell it. Brisbane have to just have to find a way to goal. Give them some, some belief. Here's a, a range hit. Oh, he knows he's going to get hurt, doesn't he? But he has to go. Well done. Graham backhanded it, power dispossessed, comes to Edwards, good tackle by Rockcliffe, Adcock thought about a handball, decided to go towards Mitch Clark, protected it, did well, put it into his own path and then overran it, well done by Rance, slapped it back but that opens the door again for Beams, and Brisbane to look to set up down the line, oh, Collier, Mitch Clark's got to go, well done by Deledio, read it well, still alive, Banfield protected it, he kept it alive too. Gets around Deledio. Stripped by Deledio. Great contest by two players. Miller a long way from home. Deledio was on the ground. Had to get up to get possession. Tired football. McGrath. Oh, oh. Another poor kick. Miller had time to fumble it. Then give up a great handball to Nahas. In turn to Edwards. He'll go long. Kick. Vickery's unguarded. Getting there late was Patful. Good closing speed. Merritt oh, run down by Jake, Jake, Jake King. King. Just jumped on him. <laughs> He's a cult hero, Jakey. Well, Brisbane have got to match their desperation. The Tigers are here now. They, they can yeah. smell a victory. The only way that Brisbane can come back is to match that or at least improve it. Comes Conker. to Conkar off a step. It works its way back. And hits the post. Start running again, Shuri. That's what they've got to do. The coach wanted the run again. There's got to be some signs. Tigers by 15 points. Seven points. Whether they got it there. Nine point win last week against the Kangaroos. Their first. Brisbane lost to St Kilda at home by 13 points. Again, Mitch Clark again. <laughs> He's had two blokes against him most of the night, and they kept going there. But his role there really was just to complete. I think yeah. he'd be happy with it, getting it over the line, starting again. He's gone, Jerry. He's just down in front of us, Mitch Clark. Can hardly get back to centre half forward. Well, we'll just push it. Lewenberger up the ground. He'll get off. He's close to the interchange bench. He's Lewenberger now. Stiller. Lewenberger. Rich. Wants the left boot. 
Forced to handball. Reigns has got a chance if he can gather. He does. Set has up. a quick look. Steadies. Good and sprays up. it wide. It's a big miss. Uh, again, it's not his strong point. And Jared said it. You could hear Jared thinking aloud. Just take a couple of soft steps. Richmond. Great kick. Was from Delidio. Cochin. Conker. Chipping ball. Miller. Never seen his game, Jared. I think he's been excellent. I think it's probably his best game for Richmond. He's presented well. Still doesn't finish in front of goals as well as he'd like. So we could have seen his game, but he's added something to the Tigers. Sure, he yeah. another avenue. So is this man. It hasn't worked tonight as he normally leads up, and that's where Jack Rewald's got the space behind him. But just his work ethic gives you an out clause, doesn't he? There's a bloke called Martin sitting in the goal square. It's a really interesting move, this one, from the coach. Bachelor Grimes, he fumbles it. Oh, now he's got some work against Polak, but the boundary line is his friend. If it goes out, that is. Good work by Polak. Had two to beat. Conker, chased down by McGrath before the handball was affected. And it was hard work, but they've dodged the bullet. Hawley. They're drawing the short straw to see who's going to go back on a Dustin Martin show. King, good use of the body on Rich. Tracks the bouncing ball. Jakey King has got some space. Time for a bounce. Think about another one. Unselfishly, King. great vision. Spots up Nahas. Good ball by Redden. Should That's be a free kick. Man. His jumper was retarded. Nahas went and got the ball. Got it to Nason. This will hurt. Ben Nason kicks oh. behind. Well, it was a dangerous kick from Jake King. He had... Dustin Martin right in his sights. He just should have kept the ball wide. If that had been turned over, that would have split them open. I know that Lee Colbert loves Ben Nason as a sub just to bring him on and give him some run. Oh, fumble here. Green Black off changes. for rest. Yep, right on Jared. O'Brien on. Greg off for Richmond. Replacing him is Matt White. 15 point lead to Richmond. Vickery back of the hand. Todd Banfield's got to come into it, sure. Yeah. He is an opportunity, but oh, he just looks so down on confidence. Well, he's just got to run himself into the game. Well, he's one player who we just saw him contest that then, Jared, and he dropped the ball. One player, I think, now in the midfield, they're losing it at the moment. They need someone to run the lines, swap over with someone and take one of the older players. Maybe a Daniel Rich out of the midfield now. Well, they need a Nahas type, and Banfield yeah. hasn't done the lines, whether or not he's been told to stay close to goal, we don't know. White from the throw in, Graham the target parked his body in front, we can take the mark, yeah. big tackle too high. Gee, the spoiling of the Brisbane Lions uh, key defender has been sensational but, but they've been under that much pressure Redden 12 minutes to play if they're good enough Tigers next month, Fremantle, the Bulldogs, Essendon and Port Adelaide in Darwin. Brisbane on the other hand take on Gold Coast in their first rivalry game at the Gabba. They've got the next three weeks at the Gabba, they take on Essendon, the Kangaroos and then Adelaide at Amy Stoney. Let's do it again. The last three goals of the game, Richmond. Rewalt's got four. Nahas and King have got three. The best for Brisbane, Power with four. And away they go again. Foley. Yeah, and miss. the next generation, Martin, has a bounce. Puts it on the boot towards Graham. Oh. Almost. Fifteen twelve one oh two Richmond leading Brisbane twelve fourteen eighty six. Tell you what, Jared, the, the Clark Lewenberger forward set up. They've kicked one goal one between them. Hasn't worked all night. You just you, the question's gonna be asked why it has been hung in there so long to stay with that setup. Let's have a look at this, Jared. Let's play on. But I just jump I wasn't ready for it. McGrath, very so, close to the line. So yeah, they've taken four marks between them, sure. They haven't taken a mark inside forward 50 that uh, we know of. Just ben, checking that stat. Banfield just shoveled it off into the path of Beams. Power, Basha Hawley. It's been pretty good for the Tigers tonight. Great handball. 
Frees up Delidio. Loose man free out of wing. King numbers with Richmond. Parking oh. run. Miller. Rewalt. Uh, the dam had the burst, didn't it? It had the burst. Well, that time Jack got him where he wanted him. He, he could see him in front of him, just to the side, but he could see him in front of him, and finally he got a chance to use Daniel Merritt as a step ladder. Thought he jumped early, Jared, but he knew what he was doing. Yeah. He positioned his backside really well and protected the ball. Brilliant, man. Pushed him out of the way, as you said. Lining up for his second consecutive bag of five goals. Out. Now or never for the Brisbane Lions, and it all comes down to run. Here he is, jumped early, great use of the body, as you said. Basically took the ball whilst he was on the ground, but got rid of Merritt. Good kick. Tigers by 17 points, Patful in front. Black, what a third quarter he had. But it's all Brisbane now. Richmond grinds the kick to Nahas. Jeez, been good this point. Don't know who's been playing on him, but he's been fantastic. So 25 possessions, Shorey. Three goals, one, seven tackles, nine contested possessions and nine marks. The runner just out to him. I'm not sure what he's saying. He's saying give it to Newman. And he does. <laughs> That'll get a game, giving it to the captain towards the goal square. Not sure about that one, Shorey. Uh, you'd, you'd probably try and just drop it on the square and maybe try and find a, someone loose in 50. It's been played in the forward half off the ground for Richmond. Brisbane did well to get back into the game during that third quarter, but Richmond have kicked the last three goals of the match. And are keen to kick their fourth consecutive goal. Newman drills the pass to King. Redden, watch out, Rewalt closes. Got it away, Banfield the mark. And we'll go through the corridor. Lewenberg arriving oh. to Lee. Great spoil, got 30 metres on the fist. Oh. Good tackle, great chase. Nason picks it up, swoops, kick across. Well, that's Colby's man. And he missed Tom Tyrone Vickery at the top of the goal square. But under that sort of heat, sometimes you miss them. Have a look at this for a decent spoil. Ooh. And I reckon that is dropping the ball. They've kicked seven behinds in this fourth quarter. I reckon that is. And Foley advantage. 65 metres out, they queue up. Nason, Nahas, take your pick. Here he is, Shuri. You called it, Colby. You didn't like him, oh, I told you. <laughs> he only had to kick straight and he left three. Yeah, it's an amazing game. Wow, well, this has just come about by their pressure, Richmond pressure, and Brisbane's lack of run now to get it out from their back half. Well, it was Tyrone Vickery's run and chase and tackle that turned it over, and for that he'd get a big tick from the coach. Six possessions, one goal, two to Ben Nason. Replace Shane Tuck, 45 metres out directly in front and doesn't make a mistake. Well, he came on when Tuck went off. And again, it emphasises the beauty of that substitute rule. Last year they would have been one man down. Today they are no men down. There's that tackle, Tyrone Vickery, just a great man, and Foley's had a ripper too, Joe, this, this, right. this is one he needed, Foley, didn't he? Got 40. Yep. Kick the last four of the game, Richmond. Lead by 25 points, eight and a half to play this final quarter. As Jared said, Nathan Foley, 40 possessions. Best it's a good night, 30, yeah, it's a great night. Edwards. We got Clark into the middle, but he's there with Lewenberger, so they've finally gone small. Rich is in the forward line. Is it too late for a change-up? Rockcliffe. And Brisbane will eventually get it to Lewenberger. Oh. Just bobbled out. Mason. Away they go again. Edwards. Oh, Jack on his Martin's own. Martin's forward of the ball. And Jack says, run, young man. He does. To 51. Him, Great kick. Rewalt has merit. Oh, he plays it on. Doesn't oh. matter. He's got five. <laughs> and he knows he got away with it. Now I'm hoping we can get a down the ground shot of this because Jack Rewalt was just positioning himself. 
And Martin knew exactly what he was doing. He, he could have kicked it now, but he saw him change his yeah, mind. Well and he held it and held it, and then he went long. Oh, Jack. And we'll get another <laughs> look at it, because it's really important, you see, he holds that ball until he gets the space. Jack nearly stuffed it up, but he got lucky. <laughs> Got away with one there. Five goals, Jack Rewalt. See that Lewenberger, just that mark right on half forward flank. Got a Richmond player with a hand in and just a fingernail to turn that ball over. Another oh, Ruckman, got a clean hand on it. Good second effort by Lewenberger. Greek did well to keep his feet. Get boot to ball, got it moving forward. Big hit on Collier. Brisbane. It's all hard work. Some of their decision making has been poor. Definitely a work in progress, though, Slaughter. I mean, There's been, been good sides, Jerry, the, the first six rounds for Brisbane. Oh, I think fantastic sides. I think they've found some players. They've also found, you know, isolated or identified some deficiencies. I think they've got some outside run issues. And guys uh, that are in those roles have got some, a couple of weeks to get it right, or they'll be back in the quaffle. Simon Black round the corner towards Banfield. Grimes another spoil. Conka took possession. Spun in the tackle. Oh, Should yeah. be holding the ball. Yeah. And I'm looking at Todd Banfield, sorry. And he is at the crossroads at the moment with his spot on the side. He's just not working up and down the ground hard enough. He's not getting goals, which is really his bread and butter. The guy like Pollock comes into the side. He looks pretty good. Uh, I reckon he might start next week. He's Brisbane's Nahas, isn't he? He can be Banfield, but just hasn't had the work run. Directly in front, Hocking Horn kicks the goal. They're slowly building a group of players through the midfield, of which Hocking Horn is one that I think are going to be really competitive. Redden's another. There's about four or five of them, surely. They're not uh, household names yet, but give them no. 12 months and get Jonathan Brown back into this side in the second half of the season, and they're going to be a pretty dangerous foe for mine from about round 11 on. Poppy Hearn's first goal of the evening, 25-point lead. Clearance yeah. important here. Back to back goals would make it interesting. Still six and a half to play, Shuri. It's good to see him uh, popping on in the midfield. I think they've got to try that too at centre bounce. It's variation. And here's this man, Black, again. He's gone there. Should have been pink for holding the ball. A little bit of grace afforded to Simon Black there. Well, he's a warrior, isn't he? Got to run possessions. Four marks. 14 contested yep. possessions. Eight clearances. Four tackles and eight inside 50 entries. Clark, a no look handball to Reigns. He's got a player out wide. The kick was very good. And the mark was taken by Redden. He'll pump it long up towards Lewenberger. Banfield, can he make something happen? Not with Martin there. Thought that tackle might have been high. Richmond with the numbers. Martin again. Just has absolute confidence in himself yeah. when he's out in the ground. Well, his speed and power to fend off means that he knows he can probably get another second chance if he's under pressure. Oh, the kick from Nason didn't hit the target, but it was good. It got to Conker. Rewall on the lead. Great ball again by Merritt. What a game they've had. He oh, Jackie goal. King takes the ball on. Takes the ball on. Oh, can't find the goal on. He deserved that, Jake. Your point earlier on, to, though, Jared, he's, he's reinvented himself because he was halfway out the door. Yep. Yeah, he just wouldn't go. Got to give credit to the coach, too, don't you? Seeing something in him. Yep. yep. Brisbane. Time is against them now. And then disposal is on that occasion. Bachelor, Rewalt. Watch out for Merritt. Big oh! fly. Big leap. Knee right in the back of Rewalt, but he's up and OK. McGrath. I reckon Merritt just thought, I know you're going to do this to me probably a number of times over the next five years. What an opportunity. Get caught this one. Risky kick. King involved. Nason involved. Over to Cotchin. Left foot kick. Might have been smothered off the boot. As a result, forces it wide for another behind. 
Uh, it's a good win to the Tigers. They came out in Brisbane and they've uh, held up under pressure. Brisbane towards Rich inside the square. Power's been very good, leading goal scorer for Brisbane tonight. Black's been outstanding, their best player tonight. He's been 32 good possessions. For Grimes, sorry for Richmond. Grimes, I yeah. think, sorry, has been a, a, going to be a good player. Just improved again tonight. He's handballed it, sorry, he's punched it away a few times when he may have uh, marked it. But it's Colby's man. Yep. Right in front of Colby. He'll probably take the credit for Ben Nason's performance tonight. But he get one vote, sort of. <laughs> Not a chance. I don't hand them out. White, Rewalt, five. Again, oh, Merritt. What a battle Merit. they've had. They've got. It's been outstanding. This is like the old old days, Jared of a Doug Wade and yeah. Jeff Salpy, just head to head. Well, who won the battle? Given, uh, that, given that Merritt's probably only had three kicked on him in the head to head. Yeah, I, I just think the, the number of opportunities he's had, you'd say Merritt would have just had his nose head, even though he's going to end up kicking five. That cock. I think there was that famous day when Silvani had 10 or 12 kicked on him by Lockett and Robert Walls gave him votes. Colby's boy again. <laughs> To Martin. That's like full backs. Too much on the handball for Conkart. Pollock did well, but then lost the ball. Nahas is there. Pat for expected contact and didn't really come. To Clark. And Wolsey explains it that a person was having a uh, poor game would have had 20 kicked on him, so he thought he did a great effort. Almost a good tackle by Banfield. May have a problem with his right finger. So what McGuan being very good as their defensive backup. Delidio. They peel off him. Jake. We'll penetrate it long. Graham with a big fly. And Brisbane. Just under three to play. Pollock. Good chase by King. But Redden ends up with it. Still up. Through the corridor. No one He's forced wide. Him. Well picked up, Shorey. Chipping oh, ball. Well. And it goes to Big Brock McCauley. Yeah, how far does he kick it? He, he doesn't. To Redden. Showed candy. Can he do it again? He does. Too much. It was a good tackle, Black, oh, underground handball, handball, intelligent play. But Rance got it to White, knew he was going to get tackled, protected it. Edwards, Hawley, towards Nace, Nahas. Brisbane with the numbers, Adcock. Had time to wheel around and find a target for the ball, Polkinghorn. Lewenberger, Grimes will spoil. Oh, no. He's just got some pace, sure. Yeah, it's so good. important for a backman. And I think the other thing, Jared, he understands his role in the team. Yeah. Let's go to Lee Colbert. Drew Banfield with a finger problem, Colby. Yes, mate, uh, they're just putting it back in. I'm just trying to get up and have a good look at it, but uh, it's, uh, there's not much. Well, the, the Tigers faithful, here they go. Todd Banfield, I should say. Got a caught in the jumper when he tackled uh, Luke McGuan. Of course, Drew Banfield was a pretty handy player with the West Coast Eagles. Pollock paddles the ball to himself. Bachelor went high. Pollock did well in the direction of Lewenberger. Hawley head over the ball. Wrapped up by Rockcliffe. I think he's going to be a player, Jared Pollock. Made oh, a couple yeah. of mistakes. You just know he, he, he's accumulated, Jared. Like he even rushed with that kick, but that, that's a youngster finding his way in the game. He looks exactly what Brisbane mm -hmm. need. Sure, some of you can run. 26 point lead to the Tigers. Back to back wins. Confidence building. Clark, boot to ball, second attempt. Has kicked the goal. Well, it's been a long night for Mitch Clark. He's been the target up forward. A lot of time, two on one, but uh, this, it just hasn't worked with Lewenberger and Clark. We can see it did on this occasion because Lewenberger. Tapped to him, might be a ruck rover, Jared. He might be a modern baller, Mitch Clark. Well, it's worth having a crack at him there, Shuri, because they're a little bit unbalanced at the moment. Mm. At the moment, with no Jonathan Brown, they've got Ruckman trying to play these key forward positions, which is always a stopgap measure. Eyeing a round nine return against the Kangaroos, Jonathan Brown. Mitch Clark with his first goal of the evening. Brisbane have kicked the last two. Back to a 20 point deficit. And a quarter minutes to play. And enjoy this one tonight, the Tigers. Got the job done against the Kangaroos last week. Lost the opening quarter. But they've been pretty good. 
Patful, clearing spoil. King and Nahas bring great energy to the team. <laughs> Floating handball, Hawley. And it'll be a high ball, Rewalt will bigly! <laughs> Couldn't take it. Arrive late. That was payback. Edwards, Conker, wants his right boot. Eventually gets it. Kick. Great kick to Miller oh, again. He's done it again. That is a great lunging spell by Patful, but it doesn't matter. And White celebrates. And he's done well, White. I'm a big fan of Matthew White. He's got lots of run. He's becoming more composed with every game that he plays. Been around for a fair while now, but just seems to be now as an experienced, mature player. Sure, he makes more right decisions than wrong. Yeah, and he's a worker for mine, he just works hard. Oh, he's front and centre here. He loved this goal too by the reaction after he kicked it. But, um, yeah, look, just too much. It, they've got the ball inside 50, a hell of a lot in this last quarter. And then, the, as I said, the dam broke about uh, 15 minutes ago. But well done, well done to Richmond. As I said, they were tested. And they stood up. And Matty White's been one of them. He does play a negating role, Jared, uh, on a lot of small defenders who can be rebounding defenders. Definitely. Tigers by 26, and we have 26 seconds to play this final quarter. Tonka continues to work, goes again and again. Graham over the top with White. Big game for Brisbane coming up next week, Shuri. Look at that. Oh, it's coast. called the Q <laughs> they get the game with a Q clash, not the showdown no, or the derby. It's the Q clash. I thought it could have been called the Stoush. A number of people have tried yes. to run that. I think we've got to come up. We'll have the competition have a, we'll get a name for next week. Do they win, Jared? Uh, I if think they don't, they want to leave the state. <laughs> I think they go in favourites, but as we know, you can uh, the Gold Coast have got plenty of young talent and they can continue to produce week in, week out is the challenge they've got. Consecutive wins to Richmond. Got the job done in the end. 18-16-124 defeating the Brisbane Lions. 14-14-98. Six-point win to Richmond, a man that was central to it, Jared. He's with Lee Colbert now. Nathan, uh, pretty pleasing, I reckon, not only for this football club, but uh, for you yourself. Uh, 40 odd possessions tonight, well done. Yeah, cheers, thanks for that. It was a good win and fantastic to get two in a row. Um, you know, we're really building. We, uh, we didn't have the greatest first quarter again, but um, sort of rectified it in the last three. Dropped away a little bit in the third quarter, but I uh, thought we bounced back well. Damien said at quarter time you were playing mad had a footy, you blokes were just flipping it around and it was almost like you were in fast forward. Yeah, it was a little bit like that. We um, weren't overly composed with the ball, we were sort of um, referring the pressure a little bit, so I uh, had to slow it down a little bit and that worked well. What about yourself, mate? I know you've had Achilles and ankle problems, it's been a, a long road for you, but uh, to get back out on the MCG and, and play good footy again must be pleasing. Yeah, it's a great feeling. It was a sort of a tough year and a half there. Um, but it's just great to be consistently training and consistently playing good football and pulling up well. So, um, yeah, it's great to be happy. Makes you appreciate footy again, doesn't it? And, uh, and uh, certainly your body uh, is, looks to be back. So well done. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Nathan Foley with Lee Colbert finished with 40 possessions, 16 contested, 8 clearances, 4 tackles and 6 inside 50s. Richmond will celebrate tonight. Led by Rewalt with five goals, a 26-point win in the end. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, Jared Healy and Tony Shaw will give their thoughts, and then we'll finally wrap up.